Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Asylum Podcast, Star Citizen, episode 61. We are about to go live. I'm going to send you all over. We'll be joined this evening by HC Vertigo and Buck. Um, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us. And, uh, yeah, we are live. Here we go. Uh, hello. Cool. So, hello, everybody. Very, we have tried our best to make sure audio works and everything is in sync. But um, if you guys want to just double check with us, make sure everyone is working cool. <laughs> what? On time? <laughs> it's you amazing. Know, right. Asylum podcast, it's on time. <laughs> it is magical. Cool. Oh, sevens. <laughs> yes, we, we did actually. Yeah, it's amazing what happens when Miz isn't around. It's clearly it's all Miz, Miz's fault. Delete the vault afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Don't clip that either. <laughs> Good job. He's he's not around. He's busy, 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 busy. Bumblebee. Um, <laughs> wait, what? I'll clip it. <laughs> cool. So, um, yeah. So, welcome. If there's anybody new um, on YouTube or whatever, um, welcome also to the show. Um, this is our weekly show where we talk about everything to do with Star Citizen. We talk about the news and everything that's been going on. Um, we. You know, just dive into kind of all kind of manners of topics. You can also ask us questions in chat if you want to exclamation question. I don't think the question actually document is open. That might be one thing I did actually miss. Um, but otherwise, you can put a question in the thing in chat and stuff, and we'll try and pick up on it later or as we go along. If it's a good one, um, yeah. Oh, sorry, that's me messing with my webcam. By the way, that's okay, dude. Um, and yeah, and you can just catch us, you know, everywhere really. We're always around, lingering, lingering around. So anyway, um, this, for anyone that is new, that should bring up the YouTube uh, sign We would definitely appreciate um, if you are new, like I say, hit that sub button. We are trying to get to about a thousand subs, I think, this year is our goal. So I think we're about halfway there. So um, if you are new and you like what we do, definitely hit that button. Give us a sub. Um, tonight's stream is sponsored by no one because we're not that popular <laughs> i think here it goes but sponsored no. by our wives and partners and just generally whoever um mm. so right let's just get into it let's get into it so um because we if you don't know who hc vertical is you clearly don't watch star citizen twitch yeah, yeah, <laughs> this dude has been streaming star citizen how long now would you say this is your like you've been number uh, one stream two years almost now i, I think years. i started in 2016 2016 sometime two years to some month now yeah man i i mean i remember you like i remember you when you started like i just started i think a little, a little bit before you not much for but before you and you've been on the scene you've gone through every patch and you doggedly and determinedly continue to stream respect i have massive respect for you because yeah. you still no matter how good or bad every patch is you still stream it and you still it's somehow perfect. manage even with a little bit of salt, which I think we can all forgive everybody that could get, that deals with it as much as he does, a little bit of salt. But generally, genuinely, I think you're probably one of, like, there's a couple of streamers out there who've done it. There's WTFO, there's a couple others who do it, but there's not many. You are in a class of your own, sir. Um, so um, very much respect for that. But yeah, we had to get somebody on, guys, who actually knows the game um, because the rest of us aren't playing it as much as we used to. So we need a, we need, we need the knowledge. It's, it's just, just sad. It just kills sad. me. Yeah. yeah, it is very sad. Um, I've spoke about it myself before, HC, like, you know, with the state of combat at the moment and the bit that I've loved for so long being so poor, um, mm -hmm. it's hard to get. I'm not excited. Do you know what I mean? I don't come away from the game mm -hmm. thinking, oh, it's okay. I had a bad day. Tomorrow will be better. I'll be able to, you know, yeah. Yeah, wail on and have a great dogfight with somebody else another day. It's just, yeah. it's not, it's not. It's just not, not there. Your, you, you, your, your, your hands are shaky. You had a rough day at work or something. You come home and your aim's off. And like in Battlefield, like we were playing Battlefield 4 last One of the guys we were playing with, Exodus, one of my regulars, he was just having a bad night. He's, mm. He just, couldn't get a break every time he responded in the game he was getting shot and just couldn't hit anybody and it's just like he's like he was at the yeah. bottom of the leaderboards he's like, normally you don't play this bad what's going on he's like i don't know star citizen is not that way you just you, it's every night feels like it's a bad night for combat for star Citizen. unfortunately yeah it's a shame but it's well known it's well documented and you know we're going to be what we're already probably a quarter halfway through the 3.5 patch effectively We'll be moving on to, you know, everything's now, it's, it's, we're moving on to 3.6 is the best way I look at it, you know. Like like um that great 
great coach for some uh, New England Patriots. We're on to Kansas or whatever he said, or Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. <laughs> the famous quote. We're on to Cincinnati. Every question he got questioned, he was like, we're on to Cincinnati. Um, anything. That's, that's what we're on. We're on to 3.6. That's the way to look we're at it. We're on to 3.6. We're on to 3.6. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to happen in, in 3.6, that we will see a big change in the, the combat side of the flight. How far is Mr. David Coles? <laughs> I I think they're furiously working on it. I think they are oh, yeah, probably they are. A, a link. They're probably a, a bit disappointed. I wouldn't be surprised if they're disappointed with the state that it's in. I think oh. um, I'm sure they're desperately trying and working their asses off um, mm -hmm. uh, to try and get it right. And I just from what I've seen and know about it, and that, hence the fact, like I think it was Briar did that whole. You know, they've done the whole feedback form. You know, that, that yeah. some people could look at it negatively and say, oh, it doesn't mean anything. It's garbage. I don't think so. I honestly think that's legit. They're like, they want feedback. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's DHG listens to feedback. I mean, you just look at the Cutlass version 2.0. Um, that thing turned from a dog, well, a terrible ship to a great ship um, mm -hmm. after it. I mean, sure, it wasn't originally, it didn't turn into the ship they originally pitched, but it turned into a ship that I highly recommend. If you have one in your fleet, you're good to go pretty much. So CIG does listen to the community when it comes to this stuff. And I think CIG is self-aware enough that they, they realize that it, it's a work in progress. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, yeah. It's a work in progress. And a lot of it right now, a lot of the really big roadblocks for combat, and I've had to kind of reconcile this, is, isn't is specifically the numbers. All that, all that stuff is just balanced. They can go into an XML spreadsheet, change the weapons, how they the damage, the rate of fire, how, how the range of the guns, how, how the thrusters work, how much thrust they put out, how maneuverable the ships are. The big problems is net right now. Just, there's so much desync. Um, and some of the game engine problems too, like the, the fixed weapon bug right now where you can't a even aim the fixed weapons properly. Uh, turrets are even suffering from that bug. So if I get someone on my stream who wants to play with me, I pull up my Cutlass Black and like, oh yeah, I'll ride in the turret or you can ride in the turret. It's a terrible uh, to do some multi-crew stuff. Unless you want to do like the like the two six times where nobody got in the turrets or 3.0 where nobody was in the turrets and just have someone standing over your standing over your shoulder, breathing down your neck yeah. and just watching the pretty lights outside the car. <laughs> um, but I think CIG is aware of, uh, of some of the issues right now and they're working very hard uh, to try to rectify some of these issues. I, I, I believe like, I, I always have faith that CIG is trying to fix the issues. I just, I don't know if it's going to get fixed in the next patch. <laughs> That's the problem. Being a content creator for Star Citizen, kind you of never know. Yeah, you, but you, yeah. There's only there's one thing you don't. That's one thing you definitely don't know. There's one thing you definitely do know is that there will be a concept ship or a ship sale of some kind around the corner. That yep. for me is the only thing I know for sure. Like if I, I have I any just confirmed, accepted that, that fact. That the the concept ships are always going to be here. Every a new concept. They have, they have to. They got to. They need. They desperately need. They have huge money. overheads. They, they need have, money. Well, they, they have, yeah. Money. They have to get money. That's that's their bread and butter. They got the whales yeah. on the hook. Yeah. They're they're reeling them in. They're going to milk those whales to keep the company afloat. But Chris Roberts is producing. I mean, he's sure he's paying himself. I don't know how much. I don't care how much Chris Roberts is paying himself. He's paying himself an executive wage, whatever. But I he's hope he's not. Though. But yeah, a game. He's producing a product he's trying to get that stuff out there uh, you know squadron 42 he's got a roadmap out for that finally um he's gonna have hell to pay if you know squadron 42 doesn't come out soon yeah. but they've they've proven that ship concepts are lucrative it makes the company money um just selling copies of the game just would have made him half of as much money you know 60 dollars a copy times the 2.2 .2 million people they have is like 130 some million dollars they they doubled their money just just selling more concepts to to a small group of the backer base oh yeah. so i've i've yeah. accepted that they will be selling concept ships i even believe they'll sell concept ships past release to fund expansion packs like a band new expansion pack or a yeah. dual expansion yeah. pack where the band new so. become a playable alien race they'll sell us the band new races ship I think that goalpost will well and truly have been destroyed. The one where they think, I think someone said to me, when I said something similar a long time ago, they said, well, yeah. Chris Roberts said that they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't sell concept ships after thing. I'm like, firstly, oh, one, no, you're, please you're prove it to me. And two, you're there's no business. fucking way you're going to return <laughs> down the millions of dollars that could, it's just not going to happen. But the truth is also in my head, that is like, so far away, the backlog. If I was to write up the list of backlog of shit that they have to do, still outstanding on stuff that they said they would do, not just alone, ships alone, 
the my wall, my whole house would be full. Like I, I think I'd have to write in tiny little house. handwriting. Yeah. I have to write tiny handwriting to write them all down. They have oh, so much to do. It's unreal. Like people keep saying, they keep throwing things in. Like oh, this will fix this, and then we'll. I'm like no way. Just stop. There's nothing else. There is. That's they literally why I know the, the whole chance. roadmap thing. It's yeah, it's a roadmap, but it doesn't display you well, not even a percent of what they're actually percent of the. Well, doing. I like I like their stop ah. doing they, they they stopped really offering uh, expanded stretch goals. They stopped yeah, you know, the feature creep kind of stuff, yeah. and they're really kind of knocking down trying to. They have to and they haven't to kind of they have and of, they you haven't. Know, the, you could uh, argue shit stuff came out of nowhere, but really, yeah, an MMO yeah. without yeah. purchasable land plots. I mean, just. They, they have been adding stuff. Not, not saying it as it was. Yeah. They have HC. They have. Like, come on, let's be real. Let's be real here. Like, come on, man. They, you can't say like every concept ship. That's not like a new. Suddenly, we've got a new spaceship. That's like a new stretch goal, in my opinion. I hope you get into stuff, you know, or like like you just said, it land claims and they 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 they've been adding stuff all the time. Suddenly, what do we get now? Suddenly, auto aim aim assist was that on the stretch goal list? No, or? I mean. No, no, that wasn't on the list either. And that's kind of a, I don't know. I don't know what they were going to do with that. Like, I mean, we, they had nothing but problems trying to get ESP to work properly after two, even two five and two six, ESP was Dude. still kind of wasn't Dude. functioning yeah. all that great. No. Yeah. But wow. it, it worked good enough yeah. for most people to kind of get, get into there. But yeah. with 3.0, it just, they kept trying for the entire year to try to band aid that thing back together, but the math just was, wasn't there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, whilst we're on the topic of that conversation, I think for me, we spoke about, I've spoke about aim assist multiple times. I don't like it. I don't want it in the game, but it's going to be in the game. There's nothing I can do about that. But what I will recognize, having spoken to, spoken to a few of my old friends and a few of my old colleagues and old, old people is um, very much kind of like, we can't realistically know for sure if it, if aim assist is garbage, whilst there's so many other things broken you know whilst their servers don't work well and client ocs and server meshing's yeah. not in and all these other things it's like it's not i mean i think they could they probably know a bit more because they can look at the data but realistically it's tough for us to know exactly because of the truth is they do really need to fix a lot of still a lot of these outstanding yeah. core and things. even even with these issues fixed i've, I've played complete released game throughout my entire life i've been pc gaming for over 20 years and I played a lot of sci-fi space games: <clears throat> Wing Commander, Free Space, Descent, uh, Star Lancer, uh, Independence War, the Starship Simulator. I'm going to bring that game probably a lot throughout this this podcast. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, no game, to my understanding, has done six degrees of freedom and no. not have had some sort of aim assist. For the... I'm not talking about auto aim. I'm talking about aim assist, something to help the yeah. player get yeah. hits on target with six degree even even with turret weapons gimbaled weapons uh you need something to help the player some sort of mechanic yeah uh, you either have yeah. to gimp the maneuvering system like free space did where you couldn't strafe you can only slide you can cut your you can cut your velocity but you couldn't strafe that well in free space uh wing commander you only had forward slow down stop pitch y'all roll that's all you could do in wing commander free space same there was a reason why a lot of those space games from that era only had that pitch raw roll fast slow down stop that's all you could do uh that made it more world war ii in space kind of like the uh, star wars mm -hmm. they didn't see a lot of that strafing descent had that descent did not have aim assist to my knowledge but descent combat was exceptionally slow it looked fast because of how oh here we go what is this sorry i'm just getting green what you're talking about. Oh. Yar. Yar. Fruit punch. Uh, I'm already. Descent. I'm already on holiday. I'm in training for my holiday next week. Yeah, it's a fruit punch. Coconut rum, some fruit punch. There. <laughs> Good choice, buddy. But descent had an exceptionally slow flight model, even though it was six degrees of freedom, and but its levels were extremely small, so it felt like you were going real fast because everything was whizzing by by your viewpoint. Very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but even then, Descent had auto aim weapons uh, or weapons with uh, uh, exceptionally large area of effects. They had the scatter cannon, they had uh, homing missiles and stuff like that, uh, uh, or weapons with very large projectiles like the fusion cannon or, yeah. or high rate of fire weapons where you can just spray down space and stuff like that, or even hit scan weapons, which were very fast, like the Gauss cannon. Um, the, the only game that I know of that's done six degrees of freedom and had to have auto aim, which Independence War is a starship simulator, and they pretty much had all their weapons were either auto aim or self guiding. They had missiles that were self guiding, uh, uh, 
mines that were self-guiding the all, all their guns their their plasma cannons that they had the oh, sorry the particle projectile cannons they had were were all gimbaled and damn near lethal a single hit for one of those would probably take out your entire starship if you're unlucky mm -hmm. um but that, that was that was very it, independence where actually shares a flight model very similar to star citizen right now it's very it was very weighty very slow to strafe your move around your ship accelerate this kind of thing pitching and yawing and rolling in that game was you felt like you were like in some massive heavy vessel kind of like so that's why it reminds me of independence where the starship simulator because it feels like chris robert in that direction with it like they're kind of stealing a couple notebooks from those guys are you um, are, are you a fan of the auto aim or do you want it as an option so that you can choose what to what to do i i would have liked to have seen the game without auto aim mm -hmm. but that would have required some concessions uh, the problem was with this goes back to the mouse and keyboard, the mouse and keyboard versus joystick debate. Joysticks yeah. are good because they allow you to fly better. Mouse and keyboard's better because it allows you to aim. Yeah, uh, a lot more people are better FPS players with the mouse. And the reason why mouse never really caught up to the joystick on the leaderboards was because uh, uh, CIG had tweaked the flight model and how things handled to try. Starships, the ability to get out from underneath that aim for the um, velocities were always very low. And the reason why we see, even in games like the X series of games, X2, X3, X4, the front, uh, Frontiers, I think it is now, is mm -hmm. the new one. You know, X3, the, uh, that's Albion Prelude and Terran Conflict, or whatever it was. Even Wing Commander, uh, Free Space. You'll see uh, a very common theme engagement ranges and projectile velocities. The projectile velocities will be exceptionally slow mostly to get that sit very cinematic combat experience where you're actually seeing the person you're shooting at and you can watch your guns hit and you see parts flying off their ships right. you see the yeah. damage effects yeah. and whatnot we kind of have the same thing here in star citizen where they control the projective velocities make it low enough so in in order to counter the, the 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 really precise and accurate aim of the mouse and keyboard you either have to make the aiming really sluggish which then pisses off the people who use mouse like madness over here i think i'm pointing the correct Kind of. Camera. It's okay. It's I'm, I'm gesticulating and my camera's not showing it, but whatever. But I'm doing it. <laughs> like, which pitches off people who actually use the control scheme and they bitch endlessly about how the how the uh, their guns are unresponsive, how their control scheme is unresponsive, and they don't want to they don't put up with that. And CIG listens to those people, and so they try to give them more responsive control. So therefore, you have you can instantaneously put your aim point anywhere on your screen, and your guns will just instantaneously be shooting at that point. So how do you counter that? Well, you lower the projectile velocity and increase the maneuverability. Essentially, you get 2.6 or 3.0 flight model or mm -hmm. the 3.4 flight model, where the ships are highly maneuverable, the projectile velocities are low, and you get very slippery combat, where it becomes this, this weird kind of... nobody. You go watch some of the high-level YouTube, you know, high-level uh, tutorial videos from like AOTW, and you're watching them doing tutorial videos on high level combat and they're literally doing this around each other and it just it just looks so stupid you're like that's not how i imagine combat in star citizen being it's no it was well, 3.4 was dreadful it's so bad in fact he gave me tennis elbow it was so stupid so yeah, yeah I, I, so I, I had to do something but as for as for auto aim like i think auto aim solves a key problem and i don't this is going to be like one of those radical opinions i have that'll probably okay. get me yelled no, it's I, good. I love these. Videos. I like the idea of auto aim because no. then we can delete manual gimbals, manual aim gimbals, and then joystick and mouse become far more. If the mouse players are just flying their ships, they either have fixed guns. I know, I know, madness. You either <laughs> have fixed guns or you have auto gimbals. Done. Choose, <laughs> choose one of the two. We are so on the opposite end of this fence. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like I am completely I'm so in disagreement with by you. CIG trying to solve <laughs> this problem of manual gimbals being yeah. being a problem, yeah, but, and okay. Okay. they keep right. fucking with the flight model. Right? They keep yep. having these dumb control scheme arguments, and it comes down to mouse and keyboard just being able to aim their guns while they're flying the ship. <sighs> and it's just. Like, just delete delete manual gimbals from the game. Well, the thing is, the thing is, make is they, either make everything that, fixed and delete manual gimbals from the game. De de delete gimbals from the game. Make it wing commander. Nothing but uh, fixed weapons. Yeah, that would yeah. do it too. Or just yeah. make it all manual gimbals and delete joysticks from the game. I believe there's there's, there's no answer <laughs> that's gonna satisfy everybody. That's the problem. 
Chris Roberts has made so many fucking promises to so many different people about how star citizen is going to be it's just like you have all these disparate parts of the community just yeah. just yeah. screaming and screeching about their little their little tiny nation <laughs> their little trash pile you got, you got a bunch of broken t1600 m's over in one corner and a bro bunch of broken mice with with tennis elbow people just, just like red layers box no, yes, that. exactly. That's exactly the image <laughs> I'm trying to bring up. Riddler's broken box and fucking joystick. Uh, okay, I'm gonna break it down. Look, I completely disagree with you. I'm right, in the opposite. I, I completely disagree with you in terms of like the um the aim assist. For me, I'm just like get rid of it and fix your ESP, fix your gimbals. That should be enough. And if you absolutely positively have to have some sort of ridiculous aim assist, leave it in the turrets, the manual turrets only. And maybe, I mean, you obviously have to have it for aim assist to suppose for your NPCs. Do you know what I mean? In terms of the computer NPCs, that's the only place I kind of like, they have to have some sort of like ability because it's AI coding. So it's kind of like, but I don't know if you'd call that aim assist. I don't know. But for me, it's okay kind of in the turrets a little bit because that kind of makes sense. Ditch it off of people. I don't want it on people. And the other thing is, is this converge? Okay, that's that's my view on that perspective. But I don't want to go too much into that because I've done it lots of times before. The, um... The converge. The, my biggest problem at the moment is is when you have convergence, which kind of like and this sort of you have competing gameplay mechanic. You have like one kind of game mechanic is trying to make things harder and more complicated, and then you have another gameplay or another tool that's trying to make everything simple. Simpler. Uh, yeah. It's just like, what are you doing? Make your fucking mind up. It's either a hard game and you've got to get good, or it's a fucking easy game and it's an easy game. You, like you just said, this is where I do agree with you. You cannot, pleasing everybody is just creating 50% of this, 50% of this, 50% of this, 50% of this, and all you have just, is you a just pile of shit. You the gameplay and nobody's happy now. We just have broken stuff. It's just that half, this is half finished, 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 and all you've got is just, a, and then it's like, oh, we hope that we add all these together, it will make one, you know, or, or two, or five, it will work. It just doesn't, and then, it, oh, do you know what, honestly, but, but I have to keep it real, they do need to finish the servers, and they do need to figure that shit out first, because there's, there's clearly a lot of lag and or desyncing and shit going on again, like we've had, I mean, we had that shit before so yeah we talked about this before as well we're that's, moving on slightly there's continual bugs that keep coming back as well like they just mm -hmm. constantly well, keep coming back. so the 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 the, this, the the way it was explained is i can't remember when chris roberts said this but when they when they did three three they broke out hurston from three so three three five was just a patch for three three and then chris roberts came out i think it was on around the verse or a um I think it was on Around the Verse, back when it was still called Around the Verse. Chris Roberts said that they were just going to patch 335 into a 34. So all the bug fixes, and this is this pisses me. If this is true, all the bug fixes they did for three up to th from 33 to 343 mm. didn't work for 335. And they had to throw all that stuff out. So this is why we're seeing bugs from all the way back from 33, like your ship's getting instantaneously stored when you land off someplace. Yeah, I'm you know, seriously. I'm doing multi crew stuff. I'm doing missions with other people. As soon as we, as soon as the last guy on the ship sets his foot on the on the ground, the ship's gone. I have clips. I have clips from Hurston, me landing on Hurston when Hurston was added in three three five, stepping out of my ship, and my ship's gone. Yeah, as soon I as I you. touch the ground, I've seen that. I've seen Dark Lord's ship vanish. I've seen myself mm. falling through ships. I've seen myself doing bugs that have been all yeah. bugs going. I thought they'd fix this shit. Like, why is this yeah. come back again? I mean, that just has happened many times in the past. Like, all bugs seem to rear their ugly head. It's to do with the code. This is the first time we've had a bad patch. This isn't the first time we've had a bad no, patch. No, 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 for it sure. If you've been around a bug. No, no. But that, but that, but it does raise an interesting topic of conversation because, obviously, there was the... Again, I don't want to talk about too much about the, the article, as we like to refer to it, the Forbes thing. But it yeah. does talk about mismanagement. And this, again, comes back to like what you're saying in terms of, like, is this mismanagement or is this game development? Do you know what I mean? That's the kind of the way I look at it because I don't. I've never made a game. I've never been this involved yeah. 
in it but when people are couch you know developers at the end of the day and you've never realistically ever built a game there are people i've spoken to a few people recently i was in a chat with with another one called cheetah cool dude and we chatted about a few things we still disagree on a few things but he was again you know he i asked him like you know what game are you gave me a game title i was like cool dope okay this person actually knows a little bit from that perspective doesn't necessarily mean they're right by the way just because you're a game developer and you have an opinion in game development that sometimes can water down your opinion and soften you a little bit sometimes you do need to be outside of that scenario to have, an, have another opinion but Anyway, um, so for me, is this mismanagement in terms of like, you know, the fact that, you know, they did all these bugs, they fixed all this, spent all this time and energy and resources fixing this for this, only for it all to be a bit of a waste of time? Uh, or is it no. part of, and here's, it part here's, of the thing? Here's because it's an open development it. game, because we can play the it. The problem is they have a quarter release schedule and they have made a promise a commitment. Uh, to the community you have a live version that is playable and will be patched on a regular schedule. So that means if whatever they have at the end of those three months, we're getting something, right? It doesn't matter how, how broken it is. How absolutely broken it is. Bot, bot can't keep up with me. I'm talking too oh. fast. It's because my brain is going at a million miles an hour as well, Bot. That's because I'm going in. I'm, I'm thinking it's about good. it as I'm talking and then it's like... So I'm like trying to, yes. and I can see all arguments. Trying to, and... trying to process it. Yeah, I, I, I will throw, I will throw this out. Putting a fucking free on three five, yeah. a really bad patch, that was mismanagement. It did leave a, a good. Um, that was I. Um, I got impressive. some complaints. I got yeah. some complaints on Reddit, on Twitter, yeah. on Four Chan, yeah. on Facebook, on Spectrum about about terrible new player experiences mm. because three five was just. Too many bugs. There's like a little land, little minefield. People doing the free flight never going to come, giving bad reviews, bad bad word of mouth. Ooh, yeah. Takes uh takes a while to overcome that again. I think. Yeah. But if it's really the way you 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 said or think it it happened that they are uh, had that fixed one. some bugs and they went back to um well like you said it. Well, the problem. They yeah. had a really good reason for it mm -hmm. to get well, the those fixes. The problem is, is they're, they're, they have a broken leg and they're building, building a crutch mm -hmm. to support that broken leg. For example, 3.3, 3, it had its own bugs. As we're seeing some of those bugs in, in 3.5. Yeah. So they build a crutch for that patch to, to get limp it along. Eventually, they kind of build a wheelchair and that, 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 that wheelchair doesn't work anymore for the, new, for the new patch when they pull it from the dev build. So mm -hmm. three five, so they try to put three five in that same wheelchair that three three or three four three was in, and it doesn't. Fit. So now they got to build a new wheelchair from scratch. So they they're, they're going to start building a by building a crutch for it with three five one, and eventually they're going to eventually it's going to. But a lot of like I said, a lot of that stuff has to get thrown out every so often because they're missing so many features. They got so many problems with the engine when they when when the new so heat system fires. came in when the new ui stuff comes in yeah. you know a lot of the ui stuff if, if you if you have someone get into your starship after you get into like i'm doing multi-crew stuff someone pulls a starship we go to fly together they yeah. get out of the pilot seat i get into it my hut's gone yeah that's yeah, a yeah. new one i haven't seen that before and that's yeah. because they did something with the hut and i mean that's that happens they, that that's just the kind of they got so many moving parts it's, yeah they have to give us something. They don't have. They can't just do a 3.0 where they get wait us wait a year because the community is not going to put up with that shit. So they can't wait for it to be. Well, that's the thing. That, well, yeah, they can, and the community would wait a people year. Be pissed. Not I all the people would pissed. wait, but a lot of people. You know, yeah, a lot of people would be yeah. grumbling and, and moaning. But you know, if they delivered, you know, if they were able to deliver an amazing patch, people would be like, cool. But we all know they couldn't. And four point, if it would waited a whole year to get four point oh, it would be a big buggy three point oh mess again, probably more than likely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I'm gonna, I, I for one do not want to see that the quarterly patches disappear at all. I, that's the reality. I, I, the I, I like the quarterly patches. I like the fact they almost in a way it's a bit like having a publisher, kind of like saying, boom, here's your here's your dates. Deliver, deliver, deliver. And it's the one thing, in my opinion, that they do actually have that that's a, that feels like it's like. A bit more serious to them you know what i mean it's like oh, we are delivering on this date we're delivering on this date they do push yeah, I, back. I, don't, I, I don't care if features get pushed yeah. back i don't care if features get pushed back a couple ships get pushed the taurus got pushed you know to yep. next year salvaging got pushed back. i don't care as long as it's we're gonna we're gonna get some bug fixes yeah. We're, we're, yeah, we're gonna get some bug fixes we're gonna get some new guns we're gonna get some new ships we're gonna get a, a new feature they're gonna touch something in the new patch try to make it a little bit better 
the the U, there's a lot of UI stuff on the on the on the roadmap this year. Chris Roberts himself admitted that the UI has been garbage for a long time and that they're mm. going to be working on it. It's too bad it took them four years to kind yeah. of start addressing yeah. it. Uh, it's better late than never, right? Well, I like Cruz says something here, which is I think, I'm going to put this through as a question here, Cruz, because I think this is kind of a good one. He's kind of like he's basically saying, you know, like he would be, he thinks that um, would it be better off? And I'm going to pose this question to get mm. you know Star Citizen off the air of waves as it were game waves for a year and bring it back with all implemented with what they could do without having to focus on live builds and there is an argument for like that could be a benefit for them there's no question like mm -hmm. if like could you imagine like if they didn't have to do any of the um inside starvers i'm gonna call it atv because that's what it was atv yeah, just, you know reverse the verse all cares? these shows they didn't have to do any <laughs> of the shows live con the, video, the recorded content, content the live content if they didn't do any of that stuff any yeah. of that stuff they didn't have to do any of that stuff they didn't have to do any of the um you know anything like they did a cd project red style you know disappear off the radar for about 10 years and then drop in with a freaking sick little video or a little clip picture here and then drop a cool video and then come in again and give so many thing. comments and they they can't do it because they promised to open development and that's yeah, what I we know. wanted so. in, in the first the first few stretch goals are improved community engagement they also promised they, I, I have i have yet to see this but they promised a monthly q a session with chris robert Back yeah. then. that was also one of the first like ten stretch goals for the crowdfunding campaign. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. they'd have to they'd have to keep the word on that. They could they did that with uh, three five where they took a hiatus from a, a, around the verse for three weeks, and, uh, and people grumbled about it. I mean, like, well, you know, it's great, you know, subscribers getting their money's worth, right? You know, missing mm -hmm. eighty. But they still did the, they still did the live content. They still broadcast it on Twitch every Friday in April. They still, even though some of the some of the live broadcasts are not exactly what everybody wants to watch, but you know, it's just it, you yep. know the latest one they did, which was the animation one. That's what work is. It's not sexy. It's not fun. It's it's Boring. some dude clicking on a clicking on his monitor, you know, with a mouse moving stuff around, yep. you know, doing meetings, reports, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. No. That's the, yeah. it, it, the animation is well. Anyone, you all you have to do is watch the stop motion animation to realize that that for some people that's fun. Get a bit of plasticine, yeah. and then walk away, then go back again. <laughs> Take a photo, go back again. I mean, that would just fucking drive me bananas. I'd go around do a twist, but that's kind of in a way the kind of a modern version to a degree, like what rigging and animators kind of do. They 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 are kind of like that, really. And I have massive respect for them because they're bloody clever. Yeah. Um, yep. It's really, really hard. I trust me. If anyone has ever done any sort of modeling or 3D modeling, I can assure you, like rigging, it seems really easy. You go, oh, I just press this little figure in the corner and it'll do everything for you. It's like, eh, nah. You want to do yeah, it properly, mate? Yeah, it's nah. A more it's, not, that. it's not going to work like that. So, yeah, I, I, we all know. I think we all know they work really hard there. They're dedicated. Most of them are, uh, all of them are pretty much 100% committed. Um, you know, actually, did you guys notice? Um, just on the job posting, there was a job posting for Brian Chambers' job position in Frankfurt in Germany. Really? Really? Yeah. That wouldn't surprise me. That, yeah. that, wouldn't, be, that wouldn't surprise me. He's been there for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So just, I mean, you know, just putting it out there that his job position is the, well, the position he had out there. So maybe he's either been promoted, perfectly possible, promoted, been promoted, or, or moved. Move on, or he's yeah. moving, looking to come back, or whatever. So, certainly interesting. Whatever that, if that's if that's a thing, or if that's nothing. Yeah. I mean, it could be nothing. Could be a thing. Um, yeah. but uh, you know, they're growing oh, wow. still. They're adding, yeah, yeah. They're growing still. They're adding more people. Mm -hmm. Um, they made a fucking shit ton of money again in in no time. I actually have the graph here. It's kind of terrifying. I was I was surprised, and we're, I guess it? we're gonna we're gonna segue oh, into the the cycle the, the Tumblr Ranger. Here. Ooh, yeah, ooh, we we'll ooh, ooh, we we meander our way through all sorts of places. Let me grab this a second. Now. I'm just gonna put this somewhere where I can. Why well, only three sit on one Dark Law? Only one. <laughs> I mean, they're great LTI tokens. I mean, I, I'll tell you what I think about why we have this nice little pause here while Mandis brings. Yeah, I think Sorry. as far as ship concepts go, I like it. They're cheap LTI tokens. They, I mean, they'll be all right when CIG. Figure, but let's let's face it, the we're not a racing game right now. Like the the driving mechanics are kind of, and CIG is probably not going to be focusing on them. But I mean, they're probably going to handle like a cyclone. They're going to tip over, fall upside down, hit 
hit lose loose tires and that kind of stuff. But I think they'll look all right. Oh, this yes, is this, one, this is one. fucking terrifying. That was cool, right? This is terrifying cool, yeah, to me. This isn't boom. cool to me. This is like this is in my head. I don't. Well, this is. I don't think this is a healthy graph. I hate to say. No, it, it isn't. But I don't yeah. think this is a healthy graph because this is kind of like a reverse pyramid. <laughs> it's kind of upside down. Realistically, in my head, I've always envisioned. I mean, maybe it's maybe I'm thinking wrong. Maybe it should be an upside down pyramid. You know, but in my head, I've always it's more of a, actually it's not really an upside down pyramid. It's more of a kind of a, a big fat tube. You know um slightly right. slightly goes like that whatever whatever you can argue what, what shape it is but i just i'm i find it it's it's concerns me that all of your money is coming from or well, not all of them but a huge chunk of your money is coming from just concierge people called the concierge yeah. category mm -hmm. and it's i think it's someone said some astronomical amount it's like more than yeah or more than all the other people combined is from the concierge people cig knows who their audience is they know who they're selling concept ships to it's concierge that's the now. whales. They got them hooked. They got a hook in that mouth. They got them hooked. There's yeah. a reason well, why we're a concierge. We're crazy. <laughs> well, we are. I mean, like, we are. I mean, I'm not, look, there's no, there's no, I can't say it. Like, as soon as I saw the bikes, I was just like, I went, two things ran through my head. First thing was, oh, fuck, it's like the bat bike. It looks super cool. I want one. <laughs> I'd love to just go and go, like, have some fun That's, and do massive jumps on, on things. Like, oh, that looks so it's so much fun, you know. I can just imagine it, like you know, just like I did with the knocks. I can imagine it's gonna be amazing, and the fly off things and all the rest of it. Then there's the second part of me, the second part of me, which is a little bit more knowledgeable about Star Citizen. This part of me goes, "Ooh, three LTI tokens, and I can upgrade three of those LTI tokens to three <laughs> LTI other ships." So that's the other part of me is doing that. Spend and then even more money. I know. And then the other part, <laughs> spend even more money. <laughs> and then the other part of me went. I looked at my wife and I went, no, nah, I'm not doing it. But I was like, and I was like, and then I went, and then, then the next part of me went, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it this month. Because then I looked at the time and went, but they've given me four weeks or four months, the longest period of time to be able to make the money to get this one now. This is the longest ever one, I think, on sale. If I'm right, I'm saying this, this is going to be the longest ever ship I think or, or vehicle or whatever. V added an extra week. They had it out for a month and they added another week. I think okay. it was poorly performing with the Argo SRV-1, okay. if I remember correctly. I, very, I vaguely remember an announcement where they said they were going to open it up for an extra week. Yes, Dark Law. That's for sad days. I slip into my Batman costume. Special things happen. Um, the... Yeah, so for me, I'm just surprised. I'm, I, and I just, I don't know if that's healthy. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I think that's not healthy. When I look at it and I go, well, mm, is that really healthy? The, the numbers kind of kind of hide something here. Like concierge, like that was when the 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 ninth is when the concierge got access. True. Eighth and the ninth there. They, when concierge got access. Concierge could still have been purchasing the bikes all the way to 10th. So, yeah, I true. mean, someone's labeling true. it as the peasant side. Could still have concierge <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of fun. Purchasing bikes in there. You know, I agree. They were like, they, they said, oh, yeah, I'll just, I'll put just a second wave of 20 bikes because I need more LTI tokens to sell the black market or the gray market. Yeah. Do, you, and do you know what would also be interesting as well is because we all know there are different tiers within concierge as well, because there are, there is, mm. there's, we talk about whales, like a concierge doesn't necessarily mean you're well. It means that maybe you've been around for four years and you've been buying slowly, slowly the ships and you've ended up just unsubscribing like so many other people do. And if you're a streamer for as well, for example, and you've just accumulated enough over that long because we've been in the game we've been three years a lot a thousand pounds i mean honestly seriously you spend a thousand pounds in a year on probably like any like you know hair shampoo or something like that you know what i mean it's like if you're because you're buying it every couple of you know a couple of weeks or whatever maybe maybe more than that i don't know but I'm just that's I mean, you know what i mean you know what i'm saying or if you smoke cigarettes or whatever you know you're buying a you know a, 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 whatever booze, cigarettes yeah booze, coffee, cigarettes e easy you're easily probably going to run up a thousand pounds easily so for me i would love to see if they broke it down into you know the titles of people so you know like you have your legatus people and all the rest of it i would be curious I to see a, which a, one of the terrible. which one of the categories again i break that down again and say like oh we which category is buying the most is it your middle class concierge is it your upper class you know i'd be curious to see which one is kind of like you know buying the most that's just a personal thing but it'd be fascinating to know it would be fascinating but um yeah i mean 
they ain't short on cash is all i'm saying i mean like they've made more money this year i oh. believe i watched on captain's table i think one of the guys um hey i can pronounce his name i do apologize um he mentioned that um he's from the relay or whatever and they mentioned that this year they're up they're like 14 million i think last year last year they were on 12 or 10 or something like that they're project you know they're projected they're, they could be looking at 40 45 million this year which based on what i was reading about from other people who are haters of starting i love i love getting the mixture i get the haters and the lovers all the time it's fantastic <laughs> mm-hmm. and the haters saying if they don't reach 39 million this year in crowdfunding it's over in two months uh, they'll be over they they'll need new they investors it's over uh, it's over right. <laughs> it's, it's, days tops. Yeah. <laughs> it's all Where's over that? it's all over it's, it's, um, I think they'll make a million dollars just off these dumb bikes if, if, if throughout the entire month. I, I'm sure. Even easily, though as the sales are tapering off, uh, I think they'll. I, they're already like up to like nine hundred million, eight hundred million. Yeah. Sorry, eight hundred thousand. I think they're eight hundred thousand. Oh yeah. So yeah. I think they'll I, make a million at the end of the month easy on the bikes. Yeah, and I think what is what I always find fascinating as well is is if they bring out, for example, like this is what thirty five. We'll talk about the price of this vehicle in a second. This is thirty five dollars, right? This vehicle, mm-hmm. um, thirty five US. What's always fascinates me is is like you know if they they drop a ninety ninety bucks ship, or they drop a hundred or two hundred or three hundred bucks ship, how much more money they make. Do you know what I mean? Like how much more money they make, and, and the fact that people, you know. It, this you know you think oh they made two million or whatever on this ship i'm like yeah but trust me this this concierge category are so entrenched in love with this and so we're so deep into the process you can't back out now it's like um gattaca the bit when he swims against his brother in the movie if anyone's seen the movie i don't want to spoil it too Mm. much but it's a great scene where he swims against his brother and his brother is you know fitter and dna and all the rest of it and he finally you know he's he, he, he fights against him and he always loses to his brother who's better than him and then finally he beats his brother and the brother and then they race again many years later he's like how, how the fuck did you how do, how did you beat me what's your trick how do you beat me again he said i never went to swim back i never planned i'm gonna die out here and beat you you know what i mean it was there was never intention of mm-hmm. saving energy to go back and i think that's where we're at with a lot of people and backers of star citizen it's like we're so Call deep the second cost fallacy <laughs> We're so deep. Is that what it is? They put Senko. so much money yeah. in that so if, if they pull out, and this is this is a fallacy you see like almost in sometimes some gambling or even business with scams and whatnot. Uh, you put so much money into a business proposition that you have to see the you have to see the business uh, through to get your money back and then some in order to even break even. The idea is like we're going to keep putting money into this bad idea that because even if we even if we break even we get our money back and we manage to get out with something but people just keep putting money into bad ideas over and over again and eventually they get so far underwater it's like well we can't pull out now we're too deep too sunken deep. cost fallacy yeah yeah it's that but that's the thing it's like we are in that we are in there many people are in that you know we're in that state streamers yeah. are the same streamers are the same i'm so deep into this now as a streamer into star citizen that's where all my viewers come from that's where my focus has been at blah 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 i have to stick to this i'm like because if i go anywhere else you know, i get 10 viewers i get down to five people because star citizen guys are Depends hardcore dedicated star citizen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but it's like that's the that's the thing is it's, it's it's that kind of it's that kind of world and mm-hmm. stuff but it's 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 certainly fascinating but um you anyway, know that's, that's like we could talk about this i could talk about this shit all day long probably and uh, you know next time when we go to citizen con which was re- announced are you coming to citizen con hc where to go you come to come to manchester no, i don't think i'll be able to make it to start. manchester isn't it yep. yes manchester how much would a flight be for you to come out uh, a couple grand probably plus no plus, plus booking couple nights grand what? you get a hotel you could get a hotel for probably a couple of hundred bucks i reckon if you do it now you easily get like a like a premier in and then oh, a flight oh, from where you are 700 bucks 600 bucks maybe a thousand pounds that's what's that it's the one one ship maybe two ships and stuff ship ship. <laughs> 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 oh, be comparing it to just ships just, now. just, just stop buying you just stop, stop buying, buying ships ships, buddy you can join us at citizen con but yeah. you realize i could get a kraken for the price it takes me to visit you <laughs> and i'll probably destroy the kraken more <laughs> i think that's the thing is it's like i'm trying to encourage as many american guys to come over but i think a lot of them are like well they're probably all thinking that they're thinking well squadron 42 is coming around the shit and there's like i'm telling you now cig please for the love of god don't 
put any big expensive ships out this year we need people to get flights to fly over from america to come over to the uk to injure to uh come to citizen con do it then maybe at the at the event we had the same um, thoughts last year going oh, to yeah. austin but it's just too damn expensive yeah because it's not only for one day and, and you want to have actually some sort of a, a holiday i know that as Marius wants to to show you around uh, Texas and all, and that's going to be so cool. And then, yeah, yeah. fly back. Yeah. I love to, but need some more donation. <laughs> <laughs> money! We need money. Get paid right now. Um, just mm-hmm. say, like, I, I, yeah, I, I think just, I want to go to the LA. Right there. That's, that's streaming. That's uh, streaming. Money! Give me you, money! You take time off. You take time off. You lose, you lose uh, that income. Yeah. You kind of come yeah. back and work your way up. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. The um. But I mean, like self-employed, anyways. That's like even I, if you're like if you close your you you have a retail shop, you close your doors for a couple of days. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Question. So your no, pretty much sounds like a pretty unless something radically changes, you're probably not coming HC. Then basically, what you're saying. No. Okay. Nothing. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. You never know. Okay, you never know what happens. Make- Stop giving yeah, money to St. Like, Jude's. We need we need to start get, start a charity stream for Vertigo to come. To, to come. Charity, Vertigo, Jake, Forget Vertigo. about those kids me, out there. Go find me. <laughs> Forget those kids. It's not important. Oh, what's God. really important? <laughs> what's really important is getting out, getting you over to the UK. Okay, no, I'm only joking, by the way. Save the kids. Um, Save the kids. The uh, Bok is definitely you going because you just told me before. I think you said you've got your flights yeah. and you've got your hotel sorted. So hotel, Bok's gonna uh, be everything is booked. Yeah. Uh, it was like five to ten minutes after the word was out that Citizen Con was on November twenty third. Twenty third, yeah, yeah. Oh, so immediately got in contact with Starburger, my buddy, and. Uh, he said, yeah, that's definitely a go. So uh, I, I booked uh, a flight, uh, booked hotel. Didn't even know where the hotel was. It's, it's pretty far from the event location. I don't fucking care. Those, those cabs, those are pretty, well, not expensive. <laughs> it's overseeable. We, uh, yeah, we will find out when we're there. I don't care. Yeah. Cabs? Is he saying cabs? Did you say cabs? Yeah. Uber. Cabs. Ubers. Cabs. Cheap, cheapest chips. Not a problem. Well, cheaper than in, in the Netherlands. Uh. Yeah, every, yeah. Netherlands stuff is... Yeah, we talk about this again off stream. The lot of stuff is expensive in Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Very expensive out there. But you, yeah, anyway. Um, so, yeah, and then I will be there. Uh, I haven't booked anything because I'm literally going on holiday for the next two weeks. So I'm like, there's like, look at the bank and you go... Mm, yeah, no, no. So yeah, well, I'm well, gonna, we, we gotta save that money for the next concept set. sale, right, Madness? That's right. <laughs> Twelve ships later. Well, just I got bought, a just bought, You can save money just, for the next concept. Just bought all three of them. Hang on a second. Like, my urge to press the button. Bye. They're in the. They're in the. They're in the. They're in the cart now. They're um. <laughs> Are in the car to repeat Already the bikes. In the, the bikes are in the car. My wife kind of does this, this like a roll out now and breaks me up. Um, yeah. Okay. So cool. Anyway, uh, like I said, if you are going to Citizen Con, though, I, I'm I will be there. Definitely going to be there. I look forward to seeing you. Definitely uh, for the American audience and stuff. Because we have a lot of big American audience that come and watch the show and stuff on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. If you do, please do come. Obviously, I think I'm pretty guaranteed that I'll be. There. I know I'll be. I'm definitely going because I didn't go to present. I'm definitely going. Box going to be there. Miz will be there. Mac will be there. Loads of people from the UK scene will be there for sure. Loads of people from the Europe scene is going to be there. I think it's going to be in a really, really fun event. I cannot wait. Really yeah. excited about it. You'll hear me talk about it probably quite a lot as we go up and talk about things. So um, I don't know. I'm going to be doing as much live streaming on the way there, there, drunk in there. Then I'll stop when it gets too drunk because we don't want it to get banned from terms of service. Then we'll probably do a morning after stream with the hangover of crawling to the bathroom oh, dying. Really? It's going to be fun. Yeah. With a Looking full English forward? breakfast, please. Full fun. English. How would... Okay, Love it. we'll talk about that one again later. Um, <laughs> so the ships. Okay, so here's my... Here's my one of my biggest pet peeves. My biggest pet peeves. Whenever they do these, these ships, I don't know anyone else, but I really find it hard to navigate the webpage to find... The actual information, because like when I go onto the web page, it always gives me the advert for one of the vehicles. Then I click on it, yep. and then it just goes through to the one vehicle. And then I'm like sat here going, 
And I thought there was three. And then I go, huh? Like, what? Yeah. You have, to, you have to click on what? each one individually to, yeah. to each one. And then I go, oh, okay, this, so let's view is, all this... extras. Let's click on view all extras. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, uh, well, it's just, again, it's like, again, sorry, to, the guys at Turbit, ter ter like, please, please, please. Do they even exist? What the fuck? Please. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen them on the um, live I, uh... content in a long time. No, they're gone. I think yeah. I saw the the guy who always does the talking of turbulent with the the, the Canadian with the the, the beard, the dark mm. beard. Uh, I saw him on on Twitter, I believe, walking on the streets with who was it? Maybe Disco. I don't know, but they're still alive. But they they need to get their word out. Mm. What they're busy with? Uh, what's the progress? Uh, community stuff, the mobile, that sort of shit. Completely silent. Yeah, that's been a problem with CIG these ever since like 2014. Yeah. I want to say they started pulling back the number, the amount of information in their um, their funding goals. Yeah. Um, and they're and not in their funding their their uh, concept sales. I'm like the the original concept sales used to be uh, the original concept sales used to be just drowning in information, uh, fluff, and all this other stuff. But then they found out like this was like back in the Cutlass days when the original. Uh, things things started coming back and biting them in their ass when they started saying too much about the concepts. So they started uh, doing Q and A posts. I mean, so it's it's hard to make it objective. It's hard to make. Add to cart. No, don't press the button. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, the TR is gonna be <laughs> the worst one if they make those guns no, fixed. No, no. I know, I know. Minus, I agree. Minus the um the, the I know. problems of the, the other one. right now but oh, that, no, no, you no. have to turn the entire bike to hit any yeah. like <laughs> yeah and it's not going to turn in place so you're gonna have to drive it a little bit to get it to turn and you're gonna have to find a nice little heel to, to shoot stuff in the sky or 20 percent. i gotta pay I 20 dollars nice on reddit <laughs> about a guy who who thinks like okay wouldn't it be cool to shoot that stuff from your motorcycle and then you step off and you can detach one of those uh, those guns and mm -hmm. take it with you. <laughs> just walk around with a yeah. size one just shoulder. in your hand. Like right. those things are massive. Like they're like almost two meters long. Yes. How <laughs> those size one guns? How shit is this web page? Look seriously. Add-ons. Centurion pack. What? Yeah. I, I click on the picture. I get a fuck. The, I just uh, get a go to the uh, the page. Go to, go to the go to the main page. It's it's on the main page. Front okay. page, and then right. you will front page. The, or do I have to scroll the, down? The, the, yeah. Of course, side. of course, right of course. Tumble Naturally, no, the thing that they no, 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 no. advertise. Literally, look, look, Tumble Ranger. Click on it. Tumble Ranger so more. Click on that. Click on that word. There you go. It yeah, takes you to the special web page, page, and then you scroll down. So and this is like the ad, and it shows you all of them. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe it's just me. Then. And you're gonna have to oh. keep coming back to this page if you want to click on each. Want to keep flicking on each thing. Page. Look at all this. Look yeah. at this. There. I haven't. I honestly haven't looked at it too much. I've only seen a little bit of it because I kind of like. Because when the money's not there, I don't really want to tempt. You know, because it gets very easy. It's very. Yeah. They do make this shit. This is literally like like being in a sweetie store, and they know all the shit that I like. They know all the triggers. They know everything. You know, these guys are professionals. Okay, they are a hundred percent pros, and they've been luring us in for freaking ages. And I look at it. Look at it. It's fucking gorgeous. Bye, bye, bye. The predators. They're taking look advantage at it. of him. It's like the bad bike. I, I feel think, so abused. Uh, Paul, Jones, Paul <laughs> Jones did a really, really good job. I want and I also uh, posted his his art station in the in the sheet madness. Mm. So maybe put out that link to the to the people and have a look at it because he's doing some amazing stuff. Oh. I saw a caravan, a, a fucking caravan, and it looks awesome. Wait, wait, who, 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 and where? Bicycles. It's in the sheet. Um, wait, wait, which which line is it in forum finds or up, up. no 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 on the ISC I think. Uh, ISC. Tumble Ranger. Yeah, it's it's in the, the orange the last sentence. There's this art station link. Art station link. Oh wait, IS. I will uh, I will paste it. I'll have it in there. there. All right. Looking for our station uh, link. It's it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I did. Uh, I did some driving recently uh, on a uh, 
what was it the um the cyclone it took a cyclone out to hurston i was driving around for a while trying to go to uh something one of the outposts that's right next to uh, hurston i think it's adlia oh. um and it's just it's the, the driving mechanics aren't really fun right now they need to work on that stuff you know i hit a rock lost a tire had to run the rest of the way 10 kilometers took me like 30 minutes to run 10 kilometers on my with my character <laughs> um so i just i can't imagine these bikes being very fun right now. even if even if they were to add these, like when the 300, I, some people were talking about this on my broadcast. Do you think Vertigo that these things are so small and so simple that they'll add, like in when they add the 300 I variants? Yeah, it's potential. I mean, they could these could be, you know, drivable very quickly. Um, oh, come on, look seriously. But the, um, we need roads because no. there are too many many rocks. <laughs> yeah, too many rocks. Too much, too many debris. Like I, I'm literally dodging grass because mm. the grass is hiding the rocks. Because anytime I go through a bush, bow, hitting yeah. a rock just bouncing off. And it's like you can only hit so many rocks at a cyclone before the wheel falls off. And eventually yeah. I did. <laughs> um, yeah, I wonder definitely how has that Mad Max kind of look. That one does. I'm literally, uh, I saw that poster and I was just like, I, I, I see that and I just go, they are literally, they know exactly what triggers me. I talked about Mad yeah. Max a million times. That's my I'm favorite just, oh. one. Yeah. The one with the suitcases. It reminds me of my old bike, the BMW. Uh, oh, this, this one. Yeah, that's what. I, yeah, that, I, and again, it's that they are. They know exactly what they're tapping into. They are tapping into. They're in your minds. They're in here. They're in your heart. They're, they're in that part. What can I say? Yeah. They're on exploration, exploration, exploration. <laughs> All this stuff. There's nothing fucking there. Exploration. You you can take your friends and go. These guys are going nowhere. Nowhere. There is literally yeah. nothing there where they're going, but there there is in this picture there is, but there right now there is nothing there, probably at all. Maybe if they're lucky, they might get somewhere. I'm sure these wheels will fall off. Now they've got two wheels. I guarantee one of them is definitely going to fall off. Um, <laughs> Even with yeah, cycling, you know? the wheels fall off. You're still stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but I say all of those things. I know this, but I also go. Add to, car. add to the car, add to the car, because I do look at it and I go, I didn't get the tumble last time and I did end up getting one and they were wicked fun. And I just, I do, I, I want to be on the ground, man. Like I love wheels. Like the hover here's, thing is here's the the thing, too madness. detached. Here's the I want the wheels. Ma I love madness, the wheels. Madness. Yeah, I know. Yeah. How, how much does the tumble cyclone, just the base one cost on the well, website? Uh, now, blah, 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 how much does it cost in game credits? Uh, I don't know actually. How much does it cost in game credits? So it's fifty US for in the store, the web store yeah. for a Temple of Cycle, just the base one. Yeah. It costs twenty six thousand credits in game. Twenty six thousand credits in game. How many credits? That's, how much does nothing. it cost in UEC to buy twenty thousand UEC, UEC with UEC money? Uh, twenty six thousand, twenty six, twenty six bucks for me. So it costs you twenty six bucks to have enough to be able to buy. A cyclone every single time you get a new patch, effectively. Yes, I could. I could legit. I and have to buy it now I with LTI will cost you fifty. UEC packs. I've actually bought UEC packs. I was stupid. It was a long time ago. Voyager Direct called to me. Uh -huh. um, I wanted to be meta compliant, so I bought some stuff with Voyager Direct a long time ago. Uh, so oh. I had, I had like forty thousand extra UEC every time I. So I could buy a tumbler cyclone from the start, from the word go. Just fly over to left seat, yeah. buy it. And I got one, twenty six thousand, no problem. And twenty six thousand is twenty six bucks. Yeah. And it costs to, anyone that bought it extra. with go a war page, bond. So if you bought it with six months insurance, it's going to cost you forty five bucks. Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. I'm just telling you right now, CIG. That's fucked up. That's like that. Those numbers don't make sense. No, no, it doesn't. And that really doesn't make sense. And uh, th that's that's one of the reasons why I brought this th that that mm. up with these guys. These things can't be more than a tumbler cyclone game. I mean, maybe the TR one, maybe the racing one is super expensive. But if you just yeah. want the base one, the one with the saddle bags, the one with the box holder in the back, that yeah. thing can't be more than more than fifteen thousand. Can't be more yeah. than ten thousand in my mind. Like, I mean, if you want to if you want to support development, fine. Give Chris Roberts your money. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your fucking money. But if you look at that, you look at how much the cyclone costs. Like right now on the web store versus how much it costs it within game credits. I mean, you could just wait. You don't have to click add to cart. I mean, maybe the racing one will be rare and hard to find. Maybe the the TR one will be rare, hard to find, or something. But if you just want want the one with the saddlebags, you'd probably be able to buy that no problem. With the little 
if you want yeah. to the LTI, there you go. I can, I could, but I mean, like that, I mean, with that, we're obviously assuming they'll stick with the way that they're doing prices and all the rest of it. But in truth, I mean, what, you know, yeah, they could change the prices. I mean, UEC, we've seen it with like well, other they currencies. They, they could have. go. They, they kicked around the idea of a price price increase. Uh, actually, the weapons and components got much cheaper recently, and the mission mm. payout got a lot better. Yes, uh, it did. It um, did and that's, yeah. they, that could always, that, and they've said it'll fluctuate based on the economy. Like certain resources become more common or rarer, and that'll change so the price of the shield generators. What saying is, which, I shouldn't buy the LTI. I should just buy the UEC. That's what you're ultimately saying to me right now. <laughs> don't, don't spend anybody. Stop it, bad, bad what, what you're saying is I should pay to win. No, <laughs> pay to advance, should we say. Not pay, pay to, to win, because pay to win. Pay to skip. Pay to skip. Pay to skip. Pay to skip. Pay to skip the grind. And, and the, get the, the UEC uh, because it's half price. Basically, it's half the price of it. Fantastic. Really interesting. Didn't know that. Obviously, that's the, that just shows you the value of an LTI. But then it kind of devalues upgrading in a way because then it's like that doesn't make any that kind of just yeah that's bullshit then that really then it's throws the, the 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 credit upgrading ccuing up again because then the value isn't ooh, that's going to be a conscious on rare ticket. ships it makes sense I am putting on, that on ticket rare ships in. like something like the jean scout or the vanduul ships it makes sense because mm. those ships are going to be hard to get to or even the more really expensive ships it kind of makes sense and uh, the, 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 you know the, what i we, i talked a lot about the cyclone when i when i was covering the sale and is this like the, the 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 TR, which I call the terrorist variant, because TR terrorist. Everyone's like, no, it's tactical recon, but TR TR and it's terrorist, right? <laughs> the the one with the guns, I unless they gimbal those guns, it's gonna be almost impossible to hit anything with those things. Right now, the dragonfly or the Nox, it's hard to engage in combat on those things when they're just hovering. So that thing gets a thumb down from me. It may be fun, maybe look cool, you know. Um. The Agreed. one with the the, the mm -hmm. caravan one with the one with the saddle banks, that one looks like the most useful one because if you mm. even if you even, they'll they'll give yeah. us a reason to get into vehicles. They they'll they'll have some reason. They'll contrive some reason. They've said that get, the ground game's going to happen and they're going to make it better. Just not this. Year. I I don't expect this year there'll be focus on that stuff because Squadron Forty Two is coming up. So flight cinematics, ground combat, you know, first person combat. I think that's the priority this year for for CIG. Make your cinematics look really good. Make the game look really pretty. Make the flight combat really good make the first person combat really good get the ai working really good so ground stuff you know we're not going to become forza anytime soon we're not going to become burnout paradise anytime soon any of those good racing games i don't burn out paradise is any good because i don't i haven't played it <laughs> um so the, the 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 one with the saddlebags i think will become all right because if you just if you happen to be on a mission you find a box you can slap it on the back and uh and the racing one i a lot of people will like because it goes fast it'll just be a nice little personal transport to fun. get yourself around fun just a bit of yeah. fun you know it's like what's you know that's like it's like a toy it's literally what it is it's just a toy yeah, it's a toy to go bombing around on like like in grand theft auto or whatever when you're in the vehicle yeah. it's like it's just fun it doesn't have to have people say what's the purpose of that one i'm like fun i'm just like doing fun. like fucking sweet ass wheelies and like doing great big doing, runs off you doing know? a racing a private racing event like the day yeah. challenge or yeah, something like that yeah the gut the shooting one i'm with you on like unless and like i i, I think i flew the Knox the other day and it had like the gim i went to the aim assist gimbally thing and it's like they, they don't really fully kind of like go you know it's silly yeah. it's silly it, i agree with you i think that's mm -hmm. they need to have a little rethink on that one or you know put yeah, the gun the somewhere else behind the problem right now is you know i mean and here's here's the thing here's the real rub besides the cyclone the cost of the cyclone and credits and the cost of the cyclone in the, the web store here's the other thing who oh boy yeah. Where was I going with this? Um, <laughs> rocks are a pain in the ass. I, I need I need to take my time. I'm not even drinking. I just, I'm I'm so burned up right now about this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's well, the point. Here's the point. Okay. The the cost, the price point, the price point, the price, price point, point of yeah. this the war bond, even the war bond, the cheapest one, right? Mm. The cheapest one, thirty yeah. US for me. Oh, dude, More price. If you have I'm to pay that, yeah. even if you have to pay full dude. price. Yeah. The crap. <laughs> The yeah. crappiest starship is the best ground vehicle. The Aurora ES <laughs> beats out the 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 Tumbler Ranger in utility. Oh, dude, oh, dude yeah. The ES uh -oh. is cheaper in price, has yeah. a quantum drive, comes with guns, can fly, has a bed, can 
can transport oh. other people and, and cargo Temper. boxes. Oh. It also has a, a, a transport capability of three SC. Oh. Like, just, just get a fucking Aurora ES, which is available year round. This, I, I, like, okay. If we want to just talk purely just, the money side of this, it is an utter <laughs> fucking joke that it's $36. It should be about 12 I know. It should, you know, it should be like a skin, in my opinion, almost in a way. It's like 15 bucks. you know I mean? If you're talking in terms of... Like, I've got a picture of it here, okay? Just because we talk about size and components and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, like, I've got a picture of it next to the Argo. It's, it's tiny. Holy crap. It'll, fuck, so it'll fit. I love it'll it. fit. It'll fit in a fucking Argo. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really, really small, which, again, I, I don't have an issue with, with, with that. It's cool. But I do have an issue when you charge, you know, like you said, it. I mean, the fact that a ship, you know, it's a spaceship is cheaper or pretty much the same price or whatever it is. Or the ES, I haven't looked at it completely. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the, the Aurora like, is so can, much cheap. You can and it's so much better of a vehicle right now. I mean, there's there's a lot of issues with Star Citizen, the game that needs to be addressed to make vehicles like these fun to drive. And we, we were actually like on my stream last, last Friday, last Thursday, we found a way to get into the get in underneath the no fly zone at our and we transported a couple of cyclones and we were bombing up and down that highway. There was a there was a there's a there's a kill zone at, on on either side of that highway by the spaceport that if you go too far one but you could just drive up and down that for about a mile or so or a couple of kilometers <laughs> and I I was screaming into my my microphone. I was so pissed. CIG look you have this great idea right here where I could just get out of a hangar, get into a vehicle, and drive to Area 18. This is actually kind of fun. Do make this, let us drive there and park underneath a garage or something. That's what I've been oh, saying. Man, it, dude. Yeah. I said it. I've been saying it on the podcast. I said like Minority Report, dude. Like you get out your hab and yeah. there's a fucking vehicle. Like in Fifth mm -hmm. Element, you get out, you wake up, and there's your door, and there's your fucking car or your vehicle that takes I, you I don't mind if, if I you choose to elevator. To, from my from my hab, like go down an elevator in my hab, then go down there down another elevator to like an underground like, garage, and yeah. then help up, then grab my vehicle and drive it to the spaceport. Right, I would I love to do, even if it was just if, if that was completely optional. Like mm -hmm. you, you know, I I have the ability to skip pleb transport. Yeah, like yeah. I don't have to go take the loser cruiser to the fucking spaceport. <laughs> I can just get into my goddamn cyclone RC and just fucking tear it's ass. Coming. It's two hundred dollars. <laughs> 4.0 $200 hab upgrade i guarantee it with your own private vehicle you attachment on top of the sky <laughs> it's coming only, only 200,000 s a, a, a UBC a month or you could buy the uh, the completionist pack and you have one because your concierge times 3 yeah it's i it, it's it's 100% and we will buy it because we don't want to fuck it. again we just want to, it's that, and, and, and for me that's when i will kind of lose my shit because it's like that's kind of like a gameplay thing like a real real i'm like like dude, you guys should be fucking just putting that in a game you don't you don't want to be charging me that for that shit um yeah. but if they do do that i don't think they will i'm sure they won't um but here's here's the other thing okay because I, like i say I, I, it's like i said it looks great i love the fact that we have a two-wheel motorbike and just fun mm -hmm. at the end of the day this doesn't have to be a reason other than fun and that's cool with me yeah but there are some things that are kind of a little bit strange and a few people have commented on them like bikes we just talked about it, about the cargo space is useless you know and, and he basically says um you know like a small single seat it's not even a two-seater so like no. if you compare it with the um you say if you compare it with the cyclone base and the Ranger CV, they both have the same cargo capacity. They both are weird vehicles. They both have open cockpits. The Ranger has a smaller really? footprint. The, the, the CV has the same same cargo capacity as the uh, the base Cyclone. That According thing has one SCU cargo capacity. That that thing holds a whole entire SCU. This one looks like the the Ranger CV looks like it only holds a a single one of those hand boxes. I grabbed this out around. five seconds ago, so I can say this while you're on here. Right. You can fact check these guys and be like, no, you're talking shit. Miss Space Marshal, you don't know nothing. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> Ray, so he's corrected you, but that's fine. Um, and then the Ranger is cheaper than the Cyclone. That's the only thing they're saying. But they said the only thing going for the Cyclone is that a Cyclone can seat two people, whereas the Ranger can only seat one person. And then this then flips you onto the Dragonfly, because the Dragonfly can sit two people. And the Dragonfly also has the same cargo space. I definitely am sure it must have the same cargo space as the... Yeah, but you have to give up the passenger seat. For the oh, you do have to give up the passenger seat. If Yo, you... I recall correctly. Okay. You can't have somebody on there. You're not going to ride a motorcycle for the cargo space. That's why I'm trying to keep my RC. Life. 
you're not gonna do that in in Star hey well i, I do what, have uh, you seen a you scene yeah you're not seeing ray from like the she was all up in a freak great big star thing she had that cool like weird hover bike thingy she did something slung a bag on the back and woof, off she was with a little droid just saying go. just saying it's in movies cargo net if it's in a movie, it's in Star if Citizen. If I'm going on holiday with a motorcycle, I will pack one one box of shorts. One. Well, that's, that's what the backpack. Oh, that's real is life. For, uh, that's box. Yeah. That's real life. This is a movie. This is Chris Roberts that's is building a movie. Uh, oh no, wait, wait. Uh, he's building a game slash movie. Star Citizen <laughs> is gonna be life. <laughs> <laughs> slash real life. That's slash that's movie. Open. Again. They're gonna hand you a character sheet. You get to print out, fill it in, mail it in. Yeah. To, yeah. To build your character. You have to submit a. Um, <laughs> cheek swab samples of dna from both your parents so they can re remake they can make your character in game that will be cool okay, spend <laughs> some money on that voip over ip how about dna over yeah. ip <laughs> that would be that would be do you know what actually because exact talking about DNA, your own self <laughs> because max in the game which is yeah. interesting i kind of like i was just thinking because like when mac was scanned into the game he was a little bit chubby Whereas now he's he's decided he doesn't eat meat. He's gone into like a bean pole. I wonder if like he needs to be re-scanned in again because it's just not going to match up properly. <laughs> you <laughs> cannot recognize him anymore. He is it's a twig. slim. Yeah, mm. super, super yeah. twig. I watched him the other day and I was like, oh my goodness, what happened? Miz uh -huh. is eating half of him. I was like, yeah. it's crazy. <laughs> I was like it's, like, it's great. But Joe was really funny as well. It's like Slay TV was like chatting to me. He asked me the question. He said to me, are they brothers? Because he thought that they were like Maz, they were brothers. I just because I wanted to talk to Miz, but he wasn't. He, he, he's busy. But anyway, whatever. Mac. Yes. So supposedly you guys are brothers. You look the same. Miz and Mac are brothers. So they are now the brothers. They're now Super Mac brothers. Miz and Mac. <laughs> uh, Ryan is just. That's the way they are. Um. Yeah. So anyway. So again, I just justify it through fun. That's the only way I'm going to justify yeah. these vehicles. Honestly, I think if you think you go to, they are, I could pull holes all over the place. They're way too expensive. They don't really do much more than like you just justified it. You know, an Aurora is better. The gameplay loops aren't, the gameplay requirements are for them aren't really there yet. They're just fun. They don't have roads really. We don't really have good roads or anything. You're going to be smashing yeah. into things all the time. Just a bit of fun. And I'm like, cool. Actually, I really like that CIG. It sounds really weird, but it's like it's the first thing that I really like because it makes no real sense. And I like a little bit of stupidity sometimes. It's kind of nice with spaceships and all the rest of it. Sounds silly, I know, but I, I do like a little bit of... Because it's fun. Yeah, actually thought this, and I know it will be fun. So, yay, here's the fun for a change. Just don't mm. delete them. And make sure the wheels <laughs> stay on. You know, that's kind of the main thing for me. Just make sure the wheels stay on. And don't have misfires on uh, them I either. Mean <laughs> I, I, I guess the the Ranger CV or the, the TR whatever the, whatever the cargo one is. I, I was joking that they were going to add a radio flyer wagon to the game, so you can carry more than one box of the same. You know, just kind of have a have a little wagon to tow behind you to put some boxes in, carry more than one mission boxes at one time. And it kind of is, kind of is that. I mean, yeah. I was joking about that. And they added, they actually have a, uh, a cargo harness uh, in one of the uh, the packages. Yeah. has they have uh, special custom outfits that come with some of the bikes and one of them has a back looks like which is kind of a first for star citizen it looks like they may be uh, deciding that they need to start looking at how players are going to store their inventory on their persons angel because that's on the roadmap and i'm not looking forward to that because i need all the many pins i get my hands on to answer that question um, you're looking at the funding goals from CIG in a long time and what have they actually achieved and what haven't they? The answer is a lot and also not very much. That's the only way. Not, I not a lot, assume. but not as much as we'd hope. Yeah. It's one of those ones. It really is. It's like, yeah. Yeah. If I, you look I, at I, where <sighs> Stanton ended in 2016, 2017, yeah. 2018, and where we're at right now in 2019, they have made a lot of progress. Uh, but if, you, if you've played like a, a if you're like a content creator, you've played every patch. It's Yeah, it's if you it's come been... back every year, you'll think the game's moved on leaps and bounds. That's the way, because mm -hmm. I always see it every time, like from the 2.5 era when people came back to then play 3.0 or they played 3.5 or whatever. You know, a lot of people mm -hmm. waited for a long time and they come to play 3.5. They get that. You can see it. Oh, my God, you can do this. Oh, my God, you can do that. Oh, you can do this. Oh, you can fly and fly. Oh, you know, you know that for those people, 
it seems like a huge amount of stuff <clears throat> for us. You were kind of like walking that slow, that slow road, as it were. It, it, it's literally like watching paint dry. Um, I think next year we're going to see a massive sprint in in feature polish. I'm not saying that anymore. <laughs> no, I've, I've, I'm too no, burnt but, on saying but, that. But, but, like the, the discussion we had last week about the mm. whole server meshing that they reached the limit with or Jacked putting into the uh, the game. That can I, can I have... just say I'm not and because of this limit, the server meshing limit. Can I say I'm just not really thrilled about the idea of Microtech coming in this year? No, because... me neither. Because that will be really, really bad for performance. And she... yeah, yeah you're, you'll be traveling. It's another place you have to travel 30 minutes to go to to yeah. have your ship stored, get your kneecaps broken while walking through New Babbage, yeah. die, respawn, and to have 15 minutes away from the hang. And then you, you go to the elevator to go to the hangar mm -hmm. and you fall through the, to your death. Then you have to wait 15 seconds to get out, to wake up out of your bed. I mean, sure, it's going to be great when it works properly, but it's going to take them six months of patching yeah. to get, you know, that kind of stuff working out the way we're at right now. And so honestly, still... I'd rather, I just tell CIG, just push it out to next year because we got enough yeah. play space. In fact, I would rather see players per server. Exactly. Yeah. More important. Yeah. Yeah. I, agree. I disagree. I'm in the boat camp on this one. I disagree. I'm going to be the one that disagrees with you. Your honor. I object, Your Honor. I completely. These guys haven't got a clue. I'm in the middle. I'm going to make sure that I buy voices head because I. No, I disagree uh, uh. because I think they should. I think they should push it to the limit of what's capable right now. They should see where they can get to with it and how far. If it does break it, um, and then I think that they should get in as much as they can into Stanton as much as possible, and then so we can try and fix as much of it I, I, as much as i hate the bugs and all the crap and all the rest of it in my head it's just like get it all in and then you can then then throw in your game mechanics get in those missions get in the mining get in the salvage get in the gameplay get in all that shit do not open another fucking jump jump portal and start creating a whole nother fucking world that we can play in oh my do God. it off of us don't do it but don't let us have access to it. Please yeah. don't let us have access to it. Just make, give us all the gameplay mechanics and everything else working within. And then when you have that working in our Stanton system, then I would say, then you can say, oh, and by the way, guess what, guys? We've also built this system. And we've also built half of the next system on top of that. And here they are, and we're putting them into game. Do not please feature creep the shit out of jumps and start just giving us more and more fucking worlds. More, I more play space. Yeah, you, that's, more I, play, I, please don't I do that. agree, because the problem we have right now, the player count is so low that you're only going to incidentally run into players, even at the major points of interest, like Area 18, Crusader, R-Corp, uh, no, no, R-Corp, Area 18, uh, Lauraville, Hurston, you only incidentally run into people at major major points of interest. I, I'll sometimes meet people, bump into people running through uh, through safe even these days, uh, simply because of just how how spread out everybody is. There's there's thousands of probably tens of thousands of kilometers of play space now, and they're going to add even more. But yeah. we're not going to get a server increase. And they even had a, a Q and A session uh, with one of the, I can't remember. I think it was Pritchett. Was it Pritchett? They had the Q and A with the server guys. I can't remember oh, his name. Oh God, I don't know. Uh, uh, recently, yeah. he did it on Spectra, but they pretty much said that they're up against the wall. They're, they're, yes, sometimes yes, the server's that. tick rates goes down. It goes down to ten frames per second because there's just too much data. And that's yep. one of the reasons why they, we're losing our ship so quickly is because the server is just trying to clean up everything. There's so much. They, they, it's, it's trying to remove all the unnecessary stuff from the server to to preserve performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. Yeah. As soon That's as you why. step out of your ship, your server, your ship's not occupied. Therefore, it should, it's it's something that needs to be getting rid of, right? That's why I say finish the ser finish the system, get the system finished, yeah. get all the bits in, and then you can see what's ticking up, ticking down. Get all that shit good, all that good shit in there. Get your gameplay mechanics in. Get your tier zeros on as much of the content that you want. Get your docking in. Get your get your improved car. Get your improved UI in. Get your get all these things in finally into our system where we've got you know. And then throw your server meshing in. Boost the you know. Get up to two hundred, whatever, a hundred, five hundred people, whatever it is, whatever you can. Two hundred people would be freaking sick. And and if you put us in the standard system with all of that gameplay, with all the missions, with all the people, with the NPCs, with all that stuff, I guarantee it, this game will be shit hot and then you say oh and now we're going to be opening up the world into a whole new system what the fuck it's amazing be incredible yeah, that, that's the thing like the they have teams develop 
de dedicated to straight developing planets, just building environments. So they, they, those people will be, after they move on from one planet, they'll be moving on to the next planet, and they'll be building the next system when Stanton's oh, finished. Just let them carry so on. they will constantly be having planets and systems coming, being built yeah. and finished behind the scenes. It all oh. comes down to Chris Roberts, whether or not he decides to push out another half-finished system. Like, we, we could take, we could build Nyx right now if we wanted to, because it's just Delamar and a couple dust balls. They can move that and put a jump point, a loading screen between those two points. They could if they wanted to. And madness has left us. No, <laughs> no just a brief. Still it was, I, I, I wanted to just rage quit the podcast. <laughs> I wondered if that would happen. Is, is, is I, I've just got a new camera and I think it's there's just like, a few teething does Chris Roberts? Does Chris Roberts really just want to push another half-finished system just to show progress? Or does he want to kind of finish up Stanton and just say, okay, we're going to focus on delivering South salvaging, repair, refueling, get all the, the core mechanics in the into Star Citizen and then kind of maybe move towards beta and just start pushing out systems as they're complete in chunks or do we want to do kind of like how the Stanton rollout happened? Do one planet, the next planet, the next planet, the next patch and just kind of just keep know. pulling that stuff out? They're fully in into procedural generations, so mm -hmm. maybe they can do a bit more with it. Yeah, they could do, they could do well, that. Well, I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah. Could, could you imagine, though? One click on a button and boom, there's your system. And then artists have to go into to create special places, exactly. spot spots, that sort of stuff. That would yeah, be exactly. really cool. Exactly. Well, could you there's imagine? a lot of really procedural generation it. stuff on missions on the web, on the uh, roadmap, too. So mm. they're looking at getting uh, the computer to take care of that. Oh. Well, could you imagine? Like, I, I look at it as like a... Uh, the movie with Tom Cruise, which when they were doing exploration, was with Nicole Kidman when he was going to explore far away or something, I think it's far away to Lon, where he's like in America and he's rushing out to try and claim land or something in America, the new, the new whatever, whatever, whatever. There was a movie he did with Nicole Kidman, it was a really old movie, he's Irish, <laughs> which, no. you know, and um, it's a, it, I watched it at school, it was a long, long time ago, and um, anyway, he, you know, in my head, I envisioned that type of scenario where you know, suddenly Sergi says, okay, now we've got everything working. The standard system's up and running. We've got persistence running. Everything's running really, really great, really, really well. We've got, you know, 200 people, 300 people in the server. Everything's great. And now we have two, three new systems, like brand new systems open and ready to go. And we've got new mission givers on these worlds and everything else, you know what I mean? Ready to, ready, ready to open or one, even just one would be cool. And literally, yeah. you have all yeah. those exploration ships all lined up on the day. Everybody's ready, ready, excited, and then it's like go, and then like everybody just and like, then the server Boom. crashes. I know <laughs> <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Of course, of course. So no, but of course, of course, I know. But it would be so cool in my head. It would be just so exciting. Like I mean, we do it now. When the minute there's a planet, it's I mean, like everyone it's, just it's cool in your head Whoa. until you actually get into it and stay in the game. This is like so mundane. It's like oh god damn. Go. Yeah. 30k 30k yeah no I agree. Uh, if we I know. one complete system that will prevent us from burning out from playing the game they can develop whatever they want and yeah yeah they will do it their way they'll do it their way they think's best they know better than us but in my head i just feel it would fool us i think and people talk about like, but you know, like I think Cree was saying earlier, you know, like maybe they should take things away and then give us to it when it's ready. I almost feel like with planets and systems, that's that's for me is what they should do. I honestly think they should take it away and bring it to us because I don't know about you guys, but I am so bored. That's just me because I've been around for a while. I know new backers and there's a lot of new backers that have come in since 3.5. But for me, I am so bored of seeing the ATVs where I see if I see another ATV about lighting, I will scream because I have, don't know about you, like, you may have changed the fucking name to SCI, but the co the fact that you're talking about lighting yet again, or some sort of other little hab or hub, or you ain't doing what, what shit. What about like, the sound? What about all the new stuff? The sound people, yeah, like, exactly. Why, why let us hear the old sound and the new sound, which we already know by now? <laughs> it's just a complete filler of the show. Yeah. And I saw what, so only 11 minutes anyway? I was like, yeah. I was, was like, fuck. I used, yeah, I was like, fucking hell. Like 11 minutes and you're just talking about sound and lighting again. 
I'm like, yeah. you know, where's the deep dive on the no, vehicle? Is, like they've they've been recycling the uh, the ATV. They've uh, oh, they were doing that stuff at Citizen one. Con and all the ATVs and RTVs up to up to that point. They're just kind of dip reaching back, just showing us kind of like little updates here and there. And that's that right there is going to be like the death of Star Citizen uh official content right there eventually they're going to get to a point in development where they're just going to be recycling there's there's going to be nothing new sexy on the horizon they're going to get all their features kind of filled out and like oh here's this new outpost we finished lighting for Ooh, look at this oh here's this new mission giver we have we mocap today um so 10 minute atvs they're just going to get shorter and shorter as time goes on yeah. less and less to talk about unless they want to start talking about the community and what we're doing in the game yeah Thanks for I was clip, fairly the excited though by the um, the uh, what do you call it? The little update they did with the um, advertisement. Bring up, can we bring it up? You've got we got as we're talking about it. Let's let's bring up. We got some of the um, we got a few of the videos. Uh, which one was it you wanted to talk about? The uh, art court. Uh, the art court revisited. Art corp, yeah, yeah this was one I think. Yeah, this was this was pretty good. Let me bring it up a second. It doesn't look that it. flat anymore. The trenches were really better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Sorry, it takes a few seconds for me to get my shit together. Yeah, madness. Get oh, no, I know, right? I know, I know, I know. Yes. got to get it together. What sort of show is this? Yeah, so, okay. Do you not think, like, I saw this and I was like, wh when you go from the first one, I was like, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. that, is a, that is a massive improvement in terms of the aesthetic. But then mm -hmm. a part of me was like... This is still missing the key ingredient for me, which is spaceships floating and yeah, flying in yeah. different levels. That's the biggest mm -hmm. thing that it misses to make this feel still like a really like a futuristic world, like Blade Runner, is that next level tier of, and they know this, it's nothing new. It's like, yeah, anyone can see that. To make this feel like it's proper like future, I need to see ships flying no, like they showed. But yeah, performance. I know. It's kind of <laughs> sucks balls, but like we saw it like on Art Corp when we, you know, with the Art Corp that we used to go and see, you would see a looped video <laughs> of the spaceships going around. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like that's when they talked about bringing back Art Corp and all the rest of it and bringing a big city. That's that's one of the first things that I I'm still holding them to to, to achieving that. You know, I want to see yeah. the the spaceship because it looks great when you see other people coming in. You know, like other humans and stuff. It's freaking dope. You know, mm -hmm. um, but it's one it's thing, not enough. Though, they should bring in more variety in the buildings. Therefore, my liking they're all too tall, too slim. The, the arena about, type bowl that was cool, but we need more the broader, wider. Instead of toothpicks, he wants kind of like golf balls. Yeah. Well, they need more. They need to be not all just this one color. Easy. It's all just. It's all just freaking. It's all just gray. Well, they said they were going to break them red. 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 Yeah. red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gray and red. It's like where's the glass towers? Where's the yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah I'm sure. The, yeah, exactly. Where's the glass towers? You know, at the end of the day, let's be honest. I mean, you be you. Oh, look at look at the six. Where's the origin building? You know, which should be this stunning, all white with with glass everywhere to kind of observe and look at things. Yeah, I agree. I mean, well, you know, special lighting and particles and stuff to reflect and. Of course, <laughs> of course, I know, right? That's the problem. That's the you go down to that minute detail yeah. on like you know you then the scale of being able to even remotely achieve that is just. Is yeah, I think that's the reality of like all of this. Is can they do it? Can they do it in time? Will I be alive to be able to witness this being done? Um, I want to put your starships in your will. Yeah, for you know, son. I, I I admire that they do them. I think that's part of the reasons. One of the reasons why I think we give them money in a way. I think it's the admiration of the balls, the kahunas, they to even try it. Far already, so it's... we're all I just, just a bunch remember of that idiots. scene from the America World Police when Madness says that you have balls. I like you balls. Have balls. Black balls. You've got balls, Chris. Kahunas for even attempting mm. this. You know, you know, and, and uh, suckering me in to this money pit of an adventure. It's very cool, though. It is genuinely very, very cool. I mean, I, I what a big improvement. Big improvement. No question. Again, really big improvement. Um, I know that most people would have probably been happy with it. I would have loved to have more game mechanics than have that, but mm -hmm. that's his job. He's a separate, you know, he has his own job to do, and he's done a great job of improvement. So I look forward to the rest, and like I said, the flying spaceships will look great. Yep. Okay, so that was one of the other things. Let's, let's talk about one of the other things they had on there. They had... Um, the enhanced lighting again they look cool but it's I, i'm like 
it's lighting. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love you guys. You're doing a great job. Again, it's like these teams are doing a great job. I, I hear from you all the time because you guys are over delivering. Stop doing a good job. Let the other slackers in the back who ain't fucking rowing start rowing. Because they clearly ain't rowing. Let's be honest. They ain't rowing. The boat is going down because these idiots, you guys should be getting out there and twatting them with your oars and saying, get the... Who the... F Tony! Tony! Fucking start moving, buddy. You ain't doing shit back there, but waving your hands around. Chris! Chris! No! Stop it! We're going to capsize if you add any more people to this boat. Fucking hell. Come on. You know, it's, it's that scenario. It's just literally, it's like the, 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 um, you got the, the winners, the winners, the, 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 the shit. You've got the, the, the guys you're making the bloody spaceships are just like, yeah, come on. We're doing this. We're dragging everybody with them. It's unbelievable. Oh, man. Um, unbelievable. Sorry. I got a bit excited there. <laughs> <laughs> got a little uh, bit excited no. but but yeah, genuinely the other teams the other teams uh, i i want to see more from the other teams i really do i'm not even i have seen a lot on the lighting guys i've seen a lot on we've seen a few bits on the sound quite a lot recently um i, I maybe they're just doing well, a good that, job the lighting <sighs> stuff the art stuff a lot of stuff is very rote a lot of that stuff is, is there's there's very clear ways to do that stuff it's hard to really shake that stuff up the gameplay stuff what chris is trying to do is that's that's the real hard stuff uh trying to get the uh, cry engine to bend over lumber yard whatever they're using right now to bend over to their will yeah well i know when we're not going to see all, all the work stuff. harmony because they're all sat in the squadron 42 boat going no oh, yeah. you'll that's see why, it in two years is so far out that's why yeah. the Taurus is so far out. That's yeah. why the Taurus is going to get moved back yet again. That's why Salvaging is going to move uh -huh. back yet again. Because uh -huh. if it ain't needed in Squadron 42, it ain't it ain't getting produced. I guarantee you. Like, you think yeah. you're going to be doing some salvaging and it's Squadron 42? You got another thing. That, that, so Salvage is going to get put back. I'm going to call it now. Taurus is going to get pushed back. Calling it now. The 890 yeah. jump maybe get pushed yeah. back. Uh, I, 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 again, I... I think you'll just get the I'm um, you'll probably just get the banner next patch. Eight ninety will get pushed back to the next patch. Um Salvage is definitely gonna be next year in my opinion. Um yeah. I think I think yeah. But the problem is here's the worry. The worry is Squadron forty two on the roadmap is already fucking falling behind. Get your shit yep. together, boys. Massively falling yeah. behind again. And um I know I had this conversation with some like I think it was the um, the other guys for another podcast, um, Grape Show, enjoy it on the base radio. And they were talking about um you know, the guys were saying, Oh, you know, what's late? What's late? I'm like, I can tell you what fucking late is. I tell you what late is. This is late. This is seriously late. And they got so much stuff behind to do and they're so late, it just gets longer and it's just stretching out and out and out and then there's just a never ending just like and I worry for I mean, them getting, because they're, they're getting stuff done. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to counter here. Uh, they are getting stuff uh, done, but they're every every quarter are. something gets pushed back from that squad and 42 of roadmap. They are. It's, it's it's there. They they but need to deliver a game. Some stuff done. They need to deliver been, a single player game. They need to deliver game. a game since 2015. You know, Joy oh god, Just, I hate bringing that up. They got to deliver. They got to deliver a single player game in my mind. Like, hey, come on, single player game. There aren't like. <laughs> You gotta get something out there. You cannot be. I feel like again, talk about movies. I, I not use an analogy. It feels a little bit like um, what's his name? Uh, Michael J. Fox's father is a writer and doesn't want to show anything to the world because they like they're gonna judge his writing. But it's like it's pretty good, you know. It's that kind of thing. It's like at some point, you guys, you gotta just get it out there, and let it out there. And the problem is, the longer you're leaving it, the hype is building. It's getting more and more crazy. You gotta have an unrealistic mark. I'm almost impossible mark to achieve in my opinion and the longer you leave it so it's like get it over with get the lanced get it lanced off the boil or whatever and let's move on you know it's like it's 142 in my head I'm like obviously do a good job don't do a fucking shit job but there comes a point you just you can't keep it forever you know just like sitting there because it's hindering everything else as well in my opinion you know just talking so please for the love of god just make sure you do it after Cyberpunk is released, not before. Yeah. Well, don't worry. That Squadron 42 is going to get pushed back because of all the delays we got going on right now. I know. I'm really so happy. About it. It yeah. <laughs> That's Probably. the only thing I'm really happy about because I want to play Cyberpunk. I do not want to have, I've said this before on the show, I do not want to have Cyberpunk and Star Citizen Squadron 42 at no. the same time. <laughs> I want them at different times. So you're okay there. Too much. But there will come a point. You cannot get into like the 13, 14 years for a single player game. 
That is ridiculous, in my opinion. I don't care what anyone says. You people say, oh, look at Duke Nukem. It was like, I'm like, Duke Nukem had serious problems. They probably had changes of studio. It wasn't like as easy. Like, they didn't Duke, have one person. Duke Nukem had issues. Like, that's you a know? whole can of worms right there. There is. Yeah. Ooh, was like, there's always no. a couple exceptions. But <laughs> you are six to seven years. Oh, no, sorry. Six to nine years for a single player, good quality, single player, triple A game. That's generally pretty much how long it takes. And we are at. Ignore. We're about. We've got. I would say two years, Grace. I would say this year, next year. Yeah. After that. You might. You're I late. expect them to start crunching, uh, like uh, for Squadron Forty Two. Eventually, here maybe not this year, but maybe next year. Maybe they'll start crunching, like yeah. really starting hammering. Uh, depending yeah. on how well the crowdfunding campaign goes, but. Yeah, and, they, they, and the longer they take, the more competition's coming. We've already talked about this on the show. Photorealistic graphics. There's um, there's many more games coming. There's Bi uh, Bethesda's got a game coming out, single player game. Cyberpunk's going to be out. Star, yeah, exactly. Cyber. We've got Cyberpunk. You're going to have, have, even, we have Space Games 2. coming out. We got Space uh, games. Battlescape Infinity. We have hmm. Dual Universe. We have, you yeah. know, Elite Dangerous is still developing. You know, they just put no a Man's Sky. expansion pack out. Oh, silly. Yeah, no, no Man's Sky. Man's Sky is putting out expansion packs. Left right, and cent left, right, and center continually gets better and better as a game, getting more and more accolades. Mm -hmm. Granted, they damaged themselves so badly, so but still. And then, uh, what if the story sucks? That's wow. that's uh, one of my biggest fears. Like, if you know, Squadron 42, yeah. like, has to be good. Everybody, you gotta, if, if you want about if you want, it if, will be good, it will be good. My worry is, my, my worry is, I. <laughs> Oh, my worry is I he's think like, the story for is Chris... I think the story for Squadron will be good because it's Chris Roberts. He's he's proven himself to be... Oh, he's also had, you know, Wing Commander in the movie, but he's proven himself to be video <laughs> games that can be... Like, Wing Commander oh, yeah. 3, Wing Commander 4. Like, that's why I gave Chris Roberts money, because he made those games and those yeah. records. Oh, yeah. quick one, Engel Scotland. Rebel Outlaw Galaxy 2 is coming out as well. Yeah, uh, Rebel Outlaw Galaxy Competition. What is the the time for a triple A game company? That's what six to nine years is, Black. So anyone people always say, What's the time with no one got no assets and all the rest of it? I always say it's six to nine years. Honestly, if you look at average games from there's a big list, you can probably go out there and grab them. The average between six to nine years. Star so Citizen is in is is approaching that period of time. They're well within the time. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not they're well within their time for their single player game. They're well within their time frame. Um, you know, if you're a, if you're a, for a game with no assets and stuff. They're late. To their original promise, the original times that they give people and very funding, late. very late for that. But that's in terms of roadmaps and things do change. We, I'm going to give them leeway, but there will, there is a point when if you're stretching over into 10, 12, 15, 20, you know, 15, you know, you still haven't delivered a single player game. There, there got to be a point. Like, is there a point with people that you have to say, mm, okay, because especially as also that's meant to bring in a nice chunk of money. And they, we yeah, need money. True. This game yeah. needs money, and They're I know it's a bit their extra money now. Back to Squadron Forty Two because before it was well not fifty fifty, but it was split into two games. Still is, yeah. That shift is there. That there are more, more, <laughs> more working on Squadron Forty Two than maybe Star Citizen. Well, I think it's because they, they are focusing more on Squadron 42 yeah, because a yeah. lot of the core gameplay has matured to the point where they can focus on the single-player exactly. stuff. A lot of their mocap stuff, Get their animation up. stuff, they got playable female characters now. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, all that stuff has lined up properly. Uh, but as far as the six to nine years, I mean, it depends on how Chris Roberts... I, I keep telling people that Star Citizen will continue the way it has been going as long as the funding keeps coming in every month. If Chris Roberts can keep hitting that 30 million to 40 million every year, it's it doesn't fucking matter. It won't fucking matter how many years he's in development. If well, he can will. Keep, keep making that will. every year, no. he can keep developing for in depth, but he has to convince people, he has to convince people that there's value in giving him money. And eventually, some people are just going to start shutting. I keep I hear grumblings from the community. I'm not saying the sky is falling. This is the, the, no no chicken. Look, but I have yeah. heard grumblings from the community that they're sick of you know the constant ship sales. They're sick of the yeah, way ATV is yeah. going. Subscribers have stopped subscribing because they don't see any value. They don't the the rental credits they get. They the sub the the sub flare they get are ugly. They hate the the current sub flare they have, which is this weird rust color venture armor suit with the flight suit. They hate that stuff. It's ugly. It's hideous. Um, the 
coupons are useless to some of the subs. You have to, you have to wait a year before you get 10% off, up to, but that 10% off is only good for $100. Uh, you could just not subscribe and save save up for a fucking Kraken instead because you know it's ten bucks a month for twelve months. That's twelve hundred. That's that's tell that's that's a Kraken, okay? Or twenty bucks a month for twelve months. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on, your math is definitely dodgy. For, for, for twelve pounds to twelve months dodgy? is not going to give you a Kraken. It'll give you. That's going to give you a Cutlass if you're lucky. It's, it's not going to give a crack. I'll, I'll meet, meet you halfway. I'll meet you halfway. We'll throw on a cutlass. How about that? <laughs> We're close. We're close. We're, close. We're very I, close. I, I took an educated but risk, but I'm, I bet was... it meant. <laughs> It's all right. Even I was like, I'm like, I'm like, and I, I got, I got this calculus, and I'm crap with my numbers, and I was going, and I was like, I was counting on my fingers and all my toes, and I was going, now nah, these numbers don't quite add up here, HC. They don't quite add up. But you, but yes, if, if you certainly, if you save your subs for a long time, if like five years or whatever at twenty, then you could probably buy yourself like a eight ninety if you're lucky or something. If you want but, um, to, yeah. So I mean, all these things are right. people out there who don't want to sub anymore, who don't want to subscribe anymore because yeah. they don't see any value. But there's and there's some people who new. are just they look at the yeah. It's always new though, HC. This is the thing I'm noticing all the time. It's always new streamers. There's always new backers. It's always new people. My 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 concern is is that when you get to the age tipping point, you get to the point when people who are new come into the game and they find out and they maybe ask or do a little bit of homework and they go, "How long has this game been in development?" And they go, "And when's the single player game coming out?" And you get it goes like. 15 years and there's nothing out i wonder if that point you're actually at the point when genuinely backers and people like you kind of go yeah i'm like even just the money side of things like the money tree you know we talk about twenty seven thousand. i've seen people do it you know you show them they show them the game package by the way it's funny when you're strictly like concierge i can show them i heard about this twenty seven thousand game package and i show it to them and i know for a fact they're like i'm fucking out you know what i mean like i am not in on this game um and, and i can see why crg got rid of that because they obviously probably knew realized that that was actually having a negative impact on people being new to it and i wonder if the age factor the length of time if they still haven't released squadron 42 and other games and they're still way behind on any sort of real thing if that will have an impact on new people and then if that does have an impact on new people that means you're like even though you talked about the concierge number we saw there the concierge number is this and then there's like kind of in my opinion the new backers is this that's still a huge chunk of money so you have that again you're losing your subscribers money as well that's to goodness will eventually say would eventually take a knock a big hit and it'd have to and start pushing that actually honestly yeah. brings up a really good point we had a free flop as well around that same we time did. so did, i don't know yeah. if that's new backers buying starter packs and whatnot i think I mean, so. a couple of people bought in some people were able to look past the bugs but some other people just they couldn't they just like no it starts is not ready as a game um yeah oh yeah sorry I mean, uh, angel says you're right Roberts, you're right 10 years sorry i missed maybe i miss your i thought you said a year you said 10 years i apologize i was wrong angel's like yeah 10 years uh, uh, you're right I, yeah, yeah sorry exactly my math is wrong me, me clean, clean i'm yours. an idiot stop drinking so much sorry get i'm not your head i wish i was i need to get back to drinking actually hang on let me go get some more carry on yeah, you talk amongst yourselves right. bok <laughs> what do you think what do you come on come on what do you want what's your What's your feelings what's your on, thoughts on this? What's your well, thoughts on you the length of t like time and you know Squadron Forty Two and stuff? You do that whilst I grab a drink. I've said it so many times, but no, I'm say it again. There's Asian. new people. There are new I, backers, I new streamers. It's always new. I know. I know. No, but um, yeah, they started off with with developing two different games, separate games. Um, it's gonna take a long time. Um. I'm not in that office, so I don't know how they shuffle all the resource, what is necessary. Uh, yeah, it, it takes a long time. I think there there should be a point where they actually say, okay, now that now it's a, now we need to release it. Hopefully in 2020. Otherwise, I don't. I don't, I don't think they're gonna make 2020. I no, me neither. But yeah, they, I mean, maybe, they, they must maybe feel impressed at the end of 2020. Maybe. Yeah, they, but I am they, excited. They I am run. excited that I am excited that they're knuckling down on Squadron Forty Two. Like it, it, the beta is on the road. The yeah. fact that there's written, yeah. there's a there's something yeah. even though it's written in shoe polish. Is there something written on the wall up there uh, on the on the on the baby, whiteboard? Baby, even though it can be erased. <laughs> baby powder. <laughs> it's gone. Baby powder. It means like I. It means ship 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 combat is going to be more of a priority this yeah. year and next year. I mean, they're going to solidify. That's going to get you know ship mechanics, 
and combat's going to start getting more solidified. We're probably going to see more better UI. You know, whatever whatever okay. Squadron Sorry, 40, whatever, okay. whatever the final state of Squadron 42 is going to show, we're going to see them moving towards that. I mean, a lot of these old issues that some of us old backers have had with Star Citizen for quite a long time, we're finally going to have to get addressed. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. I do hope so. And mm -hmm. um, we spoke about many things. Um, this is kind of one of the biggest, I think we're at that, we're always at that kind of point, I think, but um, because we're so close to the project, like I said, but I think like we talked about earlier, if you do detach yourself, they have made a progress. Like I say, that's why I like the, the quarterly releases. They're guaranteed to do these things. I'm super hyped for the Banu Defender next next patch. I'm, I'm hoping Josh yeah. finally gets that through. I'm just looking at the roadmap now. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's, yeah, I think it'll be, uh, as all things, it'll end really strong. Citizen Con is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really hopeful for 3.6 because for me, like I said, it just seems to be that magical six number seems to be golden from, I'm hoping they can mm -hmm. make, return the magic of the 2.6 yeah, period what, to wait, the 3.6. Combat for you or? For combat, 100% combat, nothing else but combat. Uh, mm -hmm. For sure, that yeah, for me is. I, I want to see well, Star Marine. I want to see Marine Commander get a resurgence. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of those is problems, is bugs, just bugs and engine problems, network code, that kind of stuff that they need to kind of get to sorted. Um, it's really frustrating when I go into Star Marine and I I go to shoot at somebody and I have to reload my gun and then I shoot at somebody and then I go to reload and then my my character just doesn't want to put the magazine and just keep constantly reloading and I don't get anything back. Very basic mechanics, not being able to shoot your gun straight with fixed guns literally the ward in the 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 glaive useless right? because of that mm -hmm. um and yeah. these are core gameplay elements that yeah. are required to work properly for your game for a for a game mm -hmm. the, you these things have to work if you want your game to be well received by any community yeah um that's a good one so actually that's so the kind of stuff we need ebus and chat and Thanos, uh, Thelos, um, yes, you could be right about the positions. I agree with, but um, saying about slowing their progress, yeah, absolutely. If you're looking for a position, then clearly, them, this, there's, there's something you need there. So that's 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 a hundred percent. I'm sure that's mm -hmm. the case. Or there might be a case of not just slowing their progress, but it could be a case of they need these people. They to could be speed it up. Yeah, speed yeah, it up. And to look at job, things. you have to look at job postings from like the past several yeah. months, like twenty four months, AI, or AI, six months. They need AI so bad. You can tell that it's, oh, it's the yeah. game is screaming UI for programmers as well. Yeah, UI yeah, and yeah, programmers. Yeah. It's, it's obvious. You can see all the pitfalls. They're becoming more and more. You know, as as the, the like I said, that the teams that are the good rowers are doing a great job. They're really pulling away from the teams that aren't or who are maybe understaffed or not necessarily their fault. But you know, you can see the, the you know the stretch marks, I suppose, or whatever you want to call it. You can see the holes. Mm -hmm. um, and another one comment here says, but this is really interesting. Abus Gaming says, um, I made five of my friends test the free fly and one of them bought it, a starter. Two of them will wait mm -hmm. and the other one was not happy with it. So that's really interesting. Because like what I always kind of, I would love to see Abus if like that was Cyberpunk or some of the other trip because triple because everyone they always talk about Star Citizen being a triple A game. So I compare it mm -hmm. to triple A games. Triple A games is like, you know, GTA launches the next game. If you did the same numbers like you just said in terms of friends, would four of your friends buy it and one of them not? Or would four of you guys, you know, with three of them? I'm always curious about that kind of, you know, would all five buy it? One? Is it because that kind of gives me an idea of what Star Citizen kind of fits in the the triple A kind of vibe in my head, you know? Um, I'm having right. a hard time selling it to my colleagues. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Why? I What's mean, the like my friends, they don't want, they they don't even want to hear about it. I like Star Citizen to them will forever be that game that releases. That's a scam. So, that's is, is that the same? we pick on to the negatives. They they keep remembering that that don't see the positives. Yeah, yeah. It's that's that's one of the damaging things about negative neg bad. Uh, some people who say. Bad, there's no such thing as bad news. Well, some people, the meme gets it, takes root, and it's yeah. not getting out of their, you yeah, know, you stuff can, like yeah, that. Forbes article, wrong boys. That Do Forbes wrong article boys. is just a regurgitation of what we already knew as a kid. Like yeah. that, there was, there was, there's been YouTubers and content creators who have produced stuff. I would say even more damaging than that article, uh, in more in greater detail and more specific from the actual game side of things, uh, the engine and whatnot from other patches that were really kind of suboptimal. And they they just my friends just know that kind of stuff. They've read these articles 
um uh, you know as they happen across them browsing the internet about star citizen they're like oh well that sounds terrible um i guess star citizen is gonna fail well it hasn't mm-hmm. failed yet as i try to tell them it's we've been going on seven years and they're like well it'll but, never release yeah. at this rate it'll never release i'm like <laughs> what is release is warcraft <laughs> fit is yeah. world of warcraft finish it's an mmo i mean no, no, they're, no, they're constantly the releasing patches and updates for you're warcraft. doing it but look lads lads okay between you and me you're doing it wrong what you need to do is what i do Ditch all my mates and just get people that play Star Citizen and make friends that play Star Citizen. And you never have to worry about it because well, they're all playing Star guys. Citizen. That's it. Don't have friends outside of this well, bubble. I, I do you don't have need friends. them. They're good for the barbecue, but not for Star Citizen. <laughs> just just ditch them all. You'll find new ones at CitizenCon in a couple yes. of months. You'll be fine. Well, you don't instead need Instead of friends. drinking the Kool-Aid, you make them buy a starter pack at Star Citizen to prove their will. <laughs> you don't need friends. <laughs> That's you're, the way you're it is. Not a, you're not a member of this. You're not a member of this group unless you bought a starter pack. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And if you do have, then they will all buy it and be amazed, and no, we will have a lot. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, um, either, right. either way, they'll write books about it. Success or failure, Star <laughs> Citizens are going to go down. Here. Okay, so I have. That's all. Very, well, that's what I said. Looking at, looking at time, we're keeping track on time here. Okay, so um, here's a question for you because we're talking about patches. Where are mm-hmm. the patch variants? Like the uh, 3.5.1. What, what are you talking about? 3.5.1, 3.5.2, 3.5.3, 3.5.3. You did have that. Like there should be like, you know, you used mm-hmm. to have the variants on these things. Is this something, excuse me, is this something that they're no longer doing that? Or is this I think they, because they'd be so thing, slow like, because, on 3.5? Because I, I want to say that the free flight and the release of 3.5 were poorly yeah. managed. Yeah. They should have delayed the free, the, delayed the free, free for a while, but my guess, they wanted to get in on the free flight when they added our Okay, whatever. Okay. So what happened was the patch, the PTU went longer into April, like the middle of April, the PTU went, and then they went to live. And even after they went to live, they kept patch the live version, believe it or not, which is rare. I have... I don't remember them doing that before where they were releasing patches to the PTU then patching the live server like directly like within hours of a PTU patch. Basically they were we were at 3.5 and then they released a patch to the PTU like a Y patch to the PTU and then boom that patch went went to live. And, yeah. and it didn't it wasn't it, it wasn't 3.5.1 we were still on 3.5 version 3.0 3, yeah. 3.5 sorry. Yeah. And yeah. then it was just like 3.5 five version number seven blah 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 yeah. um so we've gone so late into the development cycle i suspect 351 may be coming later this month or yeah. maybe at very early next yeah. with the upgrade because we were supposed to have the variants in a in a patch in a 351 or 352 i can't remember what, how jared said it but there was going to be an incre- incremental patch after 35 that brought the 300 variant mm-hmm. and we were supposed to get a special customization option on the web store for when buying starships you can start mm, customizing yeah. the ships on the web store as you when you pledge yeah, for them. Yeah. What happened to that? and that was supposed to come with a 300 so i suspect <laughs> they're <laughs> trying they're still well, turbulent is still working on that as we talked about where's turbulent yeah. What you guys doing? Mm. Well, no, I was just about to pause you there because, mm-hmm. like, do we realist? These guys can only seem to update accurate pictures on their web page when they have a new concept sale. You know what I mean? Oh, they I can know, only, right? they can, that's the, so. Do you really think that they were going to implement a new system of being able to change the ships and like you can choose your own colors and stuff? Oh no! Why do I that go, when I it's go, only going to make you a I full go to the few freelancer. bucks? Go, go check out the freelancer store page. It still has the original concept the for the freelancer. There's, there's, yeah. there's so much artwork for the, the old cutlass. The old cutlass. Mm-hmm. I saw somebody say, oh, like someone was like, when well, new person was like looking at the cutlass, and I was just like, we're talking about the cutlass, and I was like, that's not the fucking cutlass. That's like the old cutlass. It's not the cutlass. Oh, oh, not oh fun fact. Uh, Art Corp, if you get into that no fly zone uh, in near the spaceport where that highway is, it actually uses the old cutlass model for the, uh, the, <laughs> the, the one of the ships flying around. <laughs> so yeah. it's a, it's a low it's one of the low poly lots from a long time ago. For oh, the, the, the whole uh, the, 
Yeah, but it's one of the yeah. Very, yeah. So if you get if you get past that no fly zone, you actually when you're taking the buses too to Arcorp, you can actually zoom in a little bit. And you can actually see it's the old Cutlass because it has that. Uh, it just it, you you can tell if you've been in Star Citizen. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they did a Mother's Day yeah. thing. Did you see that? Because like they're so busy oh. with their important things to do. Hang on, they did this. Yeah. I mean, they could just done a tweet for the Mother's Day. I would just you know they didn't need to put like a, a special ship or something. That's kind of sweet, isn't it? That's pretty cute. Adorable. It's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah, my mother I, doesn't like computers. So. My mother's got a gun. You know, you, nothing quite like says Mother Day like a handgun. Like yeah. a handgun. <laughs> or maybe he hates his mother. Dark. Well, he just wants, they, they just mom's, live in a bad part there. of Area 18. He just wants her to be safe. So he bought her a, he bought her a gun. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, we've got a lot of Americans here. They're like, my mom is always holstered. <laughs> Space Texas. <laughs> Space well, Detroit. Be, my mama doesn't go headed. nowhere without a double barrel. Dear Lord. What's the... God. Gram, right. grandma, grandma's got an AR, AR assault rifle. Jesus. Right. Anyway, so... Um, that like, I, I mean, I, I like I like that, those little things. It's kind of fun. It shows that they've got way too much time on their hands. Um, the... Roadmap, yeah, the roadmap is what it is. Um, this was something that um, this is just stuff from Reddit, by the way. We're just doing just going through a few little pieces that I picked out from Reddit. Um, Bot found this gem on Spectrum, actually. Oh, Star Citizen three D print loop and my javelin. Woo! Like we know, like obviously we got Jr. and that team kind of doing the like the amazing like kind of modeling and look stuff that. but look at the interest to wow. say next to it this, this is just this. next level <laughs> now is, are those entrances built to the same scale as the javelin i have no uh, idea i don't I think so looked into the comments oh, I, don't, I think dope. the interest is is a little bit is probably about half a javelin because a, a um a hoplite is supposed to fit in the hangar bay mm -hmm. of the javelin so no those entrances are not the same scale right punishing him hc you're punishing him look at it look at the size of it and you're grumbling about size i'm uh, uh, sorry but it's not to the correct scale no, no, according no, no, no. to the size is very important to me i can't you don't understand it's not how important the size, size. <laughs> it's like fucking awesome it's not my size <laughs> i can't That's possibly size. buy it it takes away it's breaking my eyes <laughs> It's well wrong. Awesome. It's fucking amazing. Really nice work. Well done. Ignore HC Vertigo. It does look good. I love it. Don't send him any. Send them all our way. The models. They're incredible. Great work. Oh, great, great work. Or for, uh, for those of you that didn't know, they had a, I don't know if they have any left, but they were doing a licensed promotion with CIG. And I think they have more Starships coming up. They did a Grey Cat promotion where CIG actually licensed JRD manufacturing to produce official star citizen merchandise it was kind of spendy though to get their little gray cat model and you had to have some assembly required but i, I think they may be I've doing more one. starships in the future so I've for those of you who are one. ultra mega nerds and want to potentially own a starship keep your eye i you can hire a miserable for the paint <laughs> yep and he'll he'll probably if you pay him a little more he'll probably uh assemble them for you too yeah hey if you come and join us on the asylum podcast and you buy your own paints and bring your own gear you too can join us painting it live on the stream and paint yours with us if you really wanted to i'm sure we could do a big group massive painathon on the asylum because i alex said i have mine i have my one will be arriving in june because i delayed it because i'm traveling away on holiday and i didn't want it to miss and i also told cals and the team i said make sure i get the best one so all the other ones can go out the door but Make sure mine is the best one and then send that one to me, please. I know they're not going to do that. Mine will be the crappiest one that's probably off to the side, but that's fine. So I'm looking forward to painting that. Um, and I need Ms's help to tutorage because I looked at some tutorials and I realized that, no, I will make a pig's ear of nope. it if I do it myself. It's nope. not like Legos. <laughs> it's not. It's, not it's like, nothing it's like my like Lego. It's nothing Lego. like my Lego collection. Nothing like my Lego collection at all. But I'm looking forward to painting it. So we'll be doing that on stream. Hopefully, when I get back in the next couple of weeks, <clears throat> which should be fun. Um, in terms of other interesting and fun things that we have, there was an interesting thing talking about the Gladiator on Reddit, which I thought was really interesting. Talking yeah. about, um, you know, what's the status of that? And really breaking down, again, people forget, this is the thing we get frustrated about, why Star you know, the promises. This is where I talk about the backlog. For many of these new guys, if you're new to the Star Citizen, you know, 
this is an example of some of the things that were described of what it was supposed to do. You were supposed to be able to swap out the torpedo bay for cargo bay fields. It was described mm. to be able to do light exploration. You were supposed to be able to use the Gladiator as a small CNC support with a second seat tracking, targeting, and scanning, basically like a Hornet tracker. It was said that you could even put a tractor beam on the turret. So, uh, you know, uh, there's no, it's meant to have much more mod- modularity. Was definitely much more of a thing back then because, like always, that like we talked about, I think they didn't expect to probably take so long making the game, and so they've had to keep adding more ships because that's their funding model to keep them going. Which is why we then have this huge backlog and tail, this huge tail of of stuff that needs to be done for ships, as much as for gameplay and stuff. So, yeah, I think if, like I said, if I was to write down, I think all the list of everything that needs to be done. It must be astronomically long. Must be yeah. now. Seven years of it. Seven years of writing of of yep. of it. You know, I'm sure they ticked off some, but there's quite a long way to go. But the gladiator, definitely interested. I don't have a gladiator. I don't like it because of torpedoes. But it is. Um, I know. So I know a lot of people who do and really like that ship. And actually, really, uh, you know, um, along with some of the other variants on the Hornet, so kind of, you know, they're like, what's going on? What's going on? Um, we talked about the Rose on Art Corp, which is pretty cool. Um, and we've talked about conference. Like I said, for anyone new that's just popped in from YouTube or whatever else, um, hit, us, hit us up in the YouTube channel. Hit us up here if you're going to come to CitizenCon or if you're thinking about it. Really look forward to hopefully seeing you. Bok will be there. I'm definitely going to be there. Uh, Miserable G will be there. HC sadly won't be there, but we will see if we can try and find a way, I'm sure. I'm we'll going like, to we'll say, I'm say a, try. a soft try. no. Okay, soft we'll, no. We'll, we'll see what happens. It'd be dope to get you out, man. It'd be great to come. I mean, then, you know, you got you got time. You got time. Um, and then uh, I think the last thing I saw on Reddit, which I thought was really interesting, was the swapping of skins. Does anyone else see that on Reddit? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you can, this uh, is really cool. Oh, by cool. the way, the the Cyclone yeah. Rangers, not the Cyclones. The yeah. uh, Rangers are their loners are in. Mm. It's the Cyclones, and yep. you can swap the skins around mm. between all the various. So I have all three of the yeah. Rangers. And I could swap the skins around. The racing one onto the TR, onto the turret one. Which is the really cool. on one. This it's is very cool. Really, really cool. I was like, nice. Very nice. They so hopefully do more, more with skins, in my they opinion. Should. They should do. Oh, they're going to do more, but you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. For instance, that, that bloody heart seeker, it's still a burden for me that they... Yeah. Oh, the heart seeker. Really? Yeah. <laughs> My super it's still it's okay. I mean, it's okay. You want to talk about the heart seeker? When I want to talk about the heart seeker madness, or is that a can of worms? Um, destroy it, please. I have the heart seeker. I have the CCU yeah. for the heart seeker. I will I... not talk to you anymore. I like the heart seeker. The, the, the thing with the heart seeker the was theory. it wasn't a bad idea if you wanted a super hornet. If you liked the yeah. skin, it wasn't a bad idea. If you wanted to give CIG more money, not. A like, if you just want to support development, who am I to tell you how to spend your money? But yeah. CIG was selling a meta build to people who already own. It was just, that was it. It was bait for people to buy the upgrade to this heart seeker because it was the laser cannon builds. Laser cannons were good. The power plant was good in it for three, three four. And I, I looked at that thing. I'm like, they're crazy. They're trying to sell a ship with a with the meta loadout for the current patch just as the next patch is coming. Like, they're going to have to change how all these weapons work with the new flight model. Like mm-hmm. this, it's it's the, the, the it's not going to edge. Sure enough, I'm I'm right for I'm right for the current for the current time frame. I am correct. I told you so. Right for right now, I told you so, everybody. But who knows? They may rectify this problem in other patches where they go through and they go, okay, this is bullshit. We need to start making the heart seeker. Order. So don't Maybe. don't melt your ships just yet. The glaive, I, the scythe, the heart seeker may be bad right now, but maybe oh, yeah, six yeah, months from no, now they'll, they'll come back around. Yeah, don't don't melt. Don't melt we've shit. seen this. We've seen huge balance no. swings in patches before, where everybody bought everybody first first the very first version of Arena Commander comes out. Everybody's buying Omni Skies. Everybody's buying <laughs> sledges from Voyager Direct. Everybody's mm. ch- everybody's chasing them, out, and everybody's like really. Up- well, of course, because the games are going to change, right, HC? What are you talking yeah. about? It's going to stay the same, right? There's no more patches. They're going to change the balance There's of guns no more and patches, stuff. Right? We're finished, right? They're going to shut the servers done. down. It's going live. Now. Six, six yeah. months. It goes live tomorrow. What are you talking about? Is this the... <laughs> <laughs> You're talking nonsense. I mean, like, for me, yeah. 
for me, like I, I am a sucker. I, I am, I'm a lazy player at times, and I, I hate, I, you know, when the game is so broken. At times, it's just, especially if you were streaming it a lot. There's nothing better than being able to save yourself a little bit of time. So having, especially if you're doing combat, yes. you know, I can understand why people, you know, for for if you, if that's what you love doing, you're doing it over and over and over and over again, and you've got a little bit of spare money in your pocket. You're going to help the game development, and it, it just gives it a little bit of ease for your own gameplay experience. I get that, but you, I think most of those people are pretty clued in to the fact that they know. I certainly am. Like I, I bought the Heart Seeker not because of just the fact it was a meta build. Sure, I like the fact it's got some nice components that I can strip off it. But the other reason was genuinely, I didn't have a Super Hornet, and I, I like to have almost all the, the gunfighting ships in the game. So I, you know, I wanted to have a Super Hornet just in case because each patch will change, and I don't want to have to get rid of certain ships i want to keep a variety so that maybe this patch the saber like we've had it before the saber was really good in one patch then the hornet was really good then the saber was really good then the arrow was really good then the you know it's that it's that so i yeah. want to have a little bit of variety to switch between them now because we're running out of time and i want to get to this person's question because it was from youtube last week and it was from mark orimoli i think his name was and he asked the question, sorry, I do but I butchered the name, but I'll just say Mark, okay, because it's a much nicer name. And he asked, he had a really good, really, really wrote a fantastic um, kind of um, text. I mean, you can go and check on last in on the Asylum uh, channel, um, and you can check out his, his full spiel that he talked about. It was really good, I enjoyed it. But he came up with one question at the end of it, which we always try to, if you're on YouTube and you're listening or whatever, feel free to chuck questions in, and we do read them as much, um, and try to answer them as well on upcoming shows. Um... We don't do huge questions, but we do a few. Um, what are your thoughts and feelings to all that I've mentioned above? Which, like I said, it was it was very good, and I will um, answer some of those questions personally onto the YouTube channel. But the one I really want to get to is, is what do you guys think CRG will get? When uh, when do you think CRG will get serious about gameplay in the Persistent Universe? My first one is is when Squadron Forty Two is released. But uh, um, I don't know about you guys. Game play mechanic squad 42 mechanic. is a huge priority you can see it right now in the in the production schedule and it, you will you'll start to see mass, you see massive crossovers between the features for squad 42 and features for star citizen they tend to they tend to kind of cross over both lists so obviously squad 42 is a very high priority so anything that's used in squad 42 is 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 paramount at this point in time i'm sorry you like you like my gesticulations that that is no, I'm I'm just um, chuckling because Stay of Lawn just says the big question is what's happened to the fish in the fish tank. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's always asking that question. Um, the, the atmosphere guy who was doing the atmospheres, yeah. he he didn't quite get it right, unfortunately, um, and he's still in progress testing. So we lost quite a lot of fish in the process. I'm afraid. <laughs> vacuum does that. The just vacuum testing right it just sucked. Now, in they the to, now they have to send out some search and rescues, but the the, the Argo SRV isn't due for another two years, so you're gonna have to wait to get your fish back. Sorry, man. They were training a turtle to try uh, and do it. Uh, but yeah, so I don't think it, until, like Bad just said, until Squad Forty Two gets further along, maybe a year, two years from now, then they'll start knuckling down on on uh, Star Citizen. But I think Chris Roberts is betting on that Squad is going to sell, and that, that money is going to get turned around, pushed back into development. Yep. Yeah, I think it. I think it will. I think it will sell to some people because, like. Just the visuals and the fact that who's in it, people will mm -hmm. just be curious. Do you know what I mean? I think that's star a big power. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Good the visual, star power alone. Star power. It's like Mark what? Hamill. Um, you be, who are these people in this game? All of these people are in this game. And you'd be like, yeah. You'd be like, how much is it? Oh, Forty-five bucks. What do I need to play it? A two and a half thousand pound PC. Ah, oh, fuck that. I'm out of here. I'm going to <laughs> something else. <laughs> You know, it's just that's the that's a slight sticking point for me. Um, you know, mm. like I do kind of think. Well, they like, if... haven't had like the the graph, and this is something we haven't seen in a long time. I don't, I'm surprised this hasn't been brought up, but we're running out of time. Um, yeah, we are. We are. No, that's no, no, okay. We got about 15 minutes. We got about 15 minutes. All right. So graphics options. I haven't yeah. heard anything about that. Like high, low, medium graphics. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have. I, what's CIG doing with that stuff? Anybody? Anybody know? Uh, no clue. No, nope. exactly. Uh, um, yeah, I, I mean, mean, potato PCs can run maybe on low low graphics settings, but I mean, honestly, the difference between high, high, medium, and low is shadow quality. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, as far as yeah. I'm aware, I mean, what's the? I mean, who's to say? Like, you know, if they make the game as simple as they're making it with all the aim assist and stuff, like, why couldn't Squadron Forty? And the way that the, the new consoles are going, two years time, PlayStation Five, you know, Xbox Two or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. whenever it decides to come out, 
Why? Can't, I mean, the these are going to be. Box. I mean, think about yeah. Well, the next box. Yeah, think about the um. I mean, the, the the CPUs and the processors and stuff like that surely will be as powerful as what we're running Star Citizen on now, and maybe even more powerful than what we're running on now. So that's a, like if you're talking about star power and being able to get like Mohula, like in my head, I'm just going Squadron Forty Two releasing on the console. Seriously, I mean, aim assist being released. Well, I mean, it's Star Citizen has always supported a controller. I mean, the options is right in the options menu. You can scroll right over to your button yeah. configuration, and boop, there's your there's your Xbox Three Sixty controller, your PlayStation controller, right there on your screen. So if, I mean, if Chris Roberts well, wants to port Squadron Forty Two over to whatever the latest console is, I won't care as long as it doesn't go to the Epic Store. I won't have any problems. <laughs> it's on your little, it's, what's this on your handheld? It's on the Switch. It's going on the Switch. It's on your Switch. Woo! <laughs> Get it on the Switch, baby. Um, get on mobile. Yeah, mobile. Get it on your mobile. It's on the new Samsung. Samsung you fifteen. Phone. You don't have what? You don't have phones. You don't have you don't have Starship JPEGs on your phone. Oh, oh God! Honestly, could you imagine? But no, I mean, yeah. I just a part of me is just looking at it, going, if they're taking as long as they're doing it, like when you finish it, why not just throw in an extra six months? and Make it so that it's, you know, um, what's the word I'm searching for when you customize something? Compatible. You, Compatible, yeah, board, and just board it. and um, yeah, and port it and stick it on consoles. You can think about how much you'd sell. You'd sell loads, it's loads more. People will be, you know, got to make it work for console, granted. But aim assist, the way the ships are flying, I'm like running around is like combat. If you do do running around and attacking the things, and we're doing hand to hand combat at the moment, again, I don't see that being too much of a problem for a con controller at all. Um, the complexity is the flying. But we're playing Squadron 42, yes. which is a single player game. You can strip out so much of the complexity. You don't need to do all your fuel management and your heat management and all the things that we've got potentially in the persistent universe. They could really mm -hmm. simplify it for the for Squadron 42, you know? On a because that in the, the day it's more of a linear story. So I I really I, I you could put it on the new consoles. That's my head. In my head, I'm like, and make a shed of money. I don't think they will. The first but, console to play on us, please. I know, I know. It was us, us. There's no us. We're all one big yeah, happy yeah. gaming I mean, community. We were your first, Chris Roberts. Don't forget this about us, PC players. We supported you. Players. We, we, we bought two. We gave you two hundred twenty million dollars. Please, sir, I'm just, can we I'm have just, some more starships? Could you imagine? No, but seriously, like if somebody, like some clever person, came in, the like, same person that came in and did the um, Planet Tech and said, "Hey, we can put this on consoles and come in," and it won't take much time. I'm sure Couple they months. can, but. I don't know if they will, but yeah, I I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. That's a monstrous it's, amount of money not possible. to put it on there. It really is. They're one full disc, probably. Six, <laughs> 60 pounds. Wow. Yeah, and if you buy like the $100, $200 version, you get like a couple of ships extra to start with. <laughs> Maybe a thousand pound disc. Very special gold. limited painted Xbox. Who knows? Who knows? Whatever. We'll see what happens. We'll cross that wonderful bridge. That's all hypotheticals. But um, I'm just, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and then uh, Angels ask uh, in chat, he says, what do you think the VIP event announcement will be? So this is the special another one. Star yeah, another there's another star star you think? Uh, yeah. $3,000 starship. Well, they've got the way, they've got a captured audience, haven't they, of, of rich uh, people in that moment. So, so okay, so they have two things uh, for starships on the funding funding website, part of this website, stretch goals, early early crowdfunding stretch goals. They have yet to touch the Pegasus Escort Carrier and the Battle. We haven't seen those ships. We, well, actually, no, we, we have seen the Pegasus Escort Carrier, uh, the very old model of it, but we haven't seen the Battle Cruiser yet. So one of those two ships, ages, call it now. Probably the Pegasus. I don't Pegasus? know if they're going to sell it, but Pegasus Escort Carrier, probably. They may sell it. It'll be about the size of a javelin. Good shout. Um, I'm hoping it's... I would like a, a, a Jean or a Tavarian capital ship or something, an alien capital ship, another one of those. Like I want to see more alien stuff. Yeah. More alien stuff would always be nice. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I'd like to see more of the finished models of the Jean. The turtle people and the Tavarian and the Banu. I'd like to see them actually finished, and I'd like to see them walking around like they do with the, the Vandal. 
you know uh, in game would be cool but i mean i would just like to see more of like what they've shown with the vandal recently i like to see that with the the aliens as well you know the other tavarians and um and see you know more of them you know I, I would like to see more of that stuff but uh like we said we all know it's all just been on back burner at the moment because of squadron and this is why i want squadron to be done that's why i get worried when i see huge you know slips on squadron 42 i just go oh, here we go again this is falling later this means that this is then longer into our pu eats longer into the persistent universe resources and means that we suffer on this end as much and that's the bit that hurts the most is when i see the squadron 42 is running behind it's it's hurting us at this end which is which is really disappointing so you know um in the long run i mean if they fix combat tomorrow and 3.5 of 0.2 is incredible and I can hit everything and I'm whizzing around with my hair down going, woohoo, pew, 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 I will be happy. <laughs> you know, there's no question. That will be very, very happy. Um, but it's not there yet. So fingers crossed. 3.6, 3.6, boys, 3.6. Right, I'm, I'm afraid to it. say. 3.6 will not give you your combat experience. It will. I believe. Okay, Don't destroy my no. dreams. Don't destroy the dreams. Don't, don't, don't destroy don't, my don't dreams. Don't tread on Madness's dreams. Sorry. It's keeping me alive. <laughs> I'm becoming an alcohol, raging alcoholic whilst I'm waiting for 3.6. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody. We are ending the podcast now. Um, we could talk for ages. I know HC and me, we haven't spoken for oh, yeah. ages. I want to catch him. We'll get him back on again um, for sure. And we'll continue and we'll, we'll get more conversations going. It's always great having him on. Really great to have you back again. We've been delaying it. People have been asking me to get you back on. And the only reason, like I said to HC before, is we haven't had him on. Is genuinely down to the fact that there hasn't been much new to talk about. I know we we graduated a few old topics, but that's okay because it's a bit of fun. But generally, there hasn't been much to talk about. Whereas three point five, there's you know all three point five and all this wonderful stuff and Forbes. There's lots of great yeah. stuff to talk about. So great to have you on. Look forward to having you back again. If you haven't checked out HC Vertigo before and you're new, go check him out. Like I said, if you haven't, you're blind and haven't been around and watching any Twitch, but go check out um, Vertigo check him out go give him a follow one day we'll get mods on this channel um these days one of these days i might I actually become a, a professional mod, streamer it mm. oh doesn't it oh never mind oh. i i have a whole oh, no. list i am like star citizen a massive backlog of things that i promised that i need to do <laughs> i haven't done any of them i am a bit like a hypocrite written right across my face um so yeah uh, go check him out he's an awesome streamer do you want to say what uh, you'll be streaming this week uh, we're Star Citizen. Uh, we're going to be raising money for uh, St. Jude's uh, Children's Research. Get, defeat that childhood cancer stuff. He's raising you, uh, money for tickets to go to Citizen. What's your God. goal? Forget about the kids. <laughs> about the Think kids. about yourself. Selfish. Tickets. <laughs> Stop it, madness. Stop it. <laughs> uh, I'm so so how's it go along with, with the uh, the funding goal? Yeah. Um, okay. The funding goal is coming along. We've uh, I've almost I just started yesterday. Oh, okay. uh, today was one of my off games, so we, yeah. we we're um, we're a little under hundred dollars. Okay. Um, but we're gonna see how we do the rest of the week. We're we're as much, I don't care how much we bring in as much as we can is the best. Yeah, right? yeah. That's how it is. Uh, every penny counts. Yeah, every penny counts. We're not gonna turn away. We're not gonna turn away a couple bucks. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Exactly. 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 That's all air miles. I mean, sorry, that's all for kids yeah. stuff. Shh. I'm sorry, I'm so dark. Um, fantastic, fantastic. Um, I heard about that from Bad News Brown. I think he was crying on Twitter. I think at one point um, about it, but was he I can't remember. Crying again? I think so. There was some tears. Oh. There was some tears. Um, the uh, wonderful and marvelous Bok Bertie is with us. He is Bok going to be <laughs> Bok Bertie. Uh, I hope to thing. push out a couple of streams this week, but that really <laughs> depends on my real life work. Be careful. And, and, Don't uh, push too hard. You might blow a ring. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it, it's, uh, we're still busy with a project which is annoyingly, annoyingly uh, uh, due over time. And uh, we're, we're crunching, but it's getting so slow and it's, uh, Pretty, pretty stressful, not only for me, but my other colleagues as well. And really depends on that, how that goes, how the day will go, if I've got enough energy and uh, liveliness in me to, uh, to do another. But yeah, hoping to, uh, to put out one tomorrow and Wednesday. Sweet. Uh, yeah, going, going easy. All right. So 
know your name. Book. Book B or T? <laughs> Book B or T. I can't even say it, let alone spell it. There you go. Go check Book him out. Go B give him a follow. He's part of the Asylum team anyway, but like I say, go give him a follow. Great dude. Great streamer. Um, and uh, just generally really knowledgeable about all sorts of stuff. Makes me feel like a child most of the time, to be fair. Although most, to be fair, most, most people do make me feel like that. I'm very bad at chip name, so. Are you, that's the thing is I realize the, the more I meet like this community the more I realize I know nothing I know nothing it's incredible it's like I love it I love I'm a, like a child in a kindergarten shop it's just like whoa like so many smart people who know so much um, and who help yeah. I've helped teach you and it's such a great community of people helping everybody especially like, the one thing yeah. if your PC is broken I can guarantee you, you jump on this channel, you will have a thousand people who are telling you different things that will fix your PC. It yeah. won't help you, but yeah. you'll have a thousand different things to go through yeah. to try and figure out what to do. Yeah. It's it's awesome. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> awesome. I guarantee it's it. Not only on Twitch or the internet, it's in real life as well. It's real life. Anything. Anything that's wrong, you will have. And there will always be opposites as well, which I love. That's what I, one of my favorite things is. Like I'm in the middle of halfway through fixing something and somebody be like, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that, mate. That's a bad idea. You need to change this. It was just uh, like with Miserable's computer last week. There was a mismatch in uh, his chipset drivers and his BIOS. And <laughs> he didn't update his BIOS. I said, update your BIOS. Uh, <laughs> did all the other things that was suggested. And then yeah. at last, he did his BIOS and poof, it worked. <laughs> Another week gone. Honestly, he doesn't. He doesn't like to listen, Miss. I love you, man. But he doesn't like 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 the other day, which is brilliant. I have a, I have the claim to fame. I love yeah, it because yeah. yeah, you do get overwhelmed, and it's wonderful. That's what I said. People just give you so much great advice, and you're just like, oh my god. Mm. But it, it is it can be sometimes a little bit too much. But the best thing with Miz is was a bit where he was trying to fix something. Now, by the way, Miz, or anything that I need done. I can't fix it. Miz fixes it. Okay. Like I, I or, or Toby or Bok or whoever or HC or who all everyone else does. It. I'm rubbish. And um, it was brilliant because he couldn't do something. And I think I said to him, like, have you tried this? Or like, you know, maybe just take a moment. Just think about it. Just relax, man. It, oh, the answer will. And then he did. And then he realized he looked down and there was the answer was like staring him plain in the face. It was awesome. I, I can't hold it over him forever now that I helped him fix something. It's fantastic. It's the well, best. I, I the warned him this week or this weekend. I best. said to him, well, now you know that you're safe you you think you are safe you will yeah. be playing games for a week and then all of a sudden problem shows up again yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. that yeah. happens this all the true. time this is true um and uh, i will be streaming probably uh a yeah, teeny bit because i have Builders are coming in on Thursday to rip out my bathroom and on Friday i fly on holiday to malaysia to take my kids and my youngest kid to visit his other side of his family which he's never met and he's one years old in seven days so we're going to be off i'll be off for about two weeks there will not be an asylum podcast unless something changes but i don't think there's going to be a sign because miz is off as well i think on holiday for the next two weeks as well so we're going to have a bit of a three break weeks, I, think. I think three weeks yeah he's off for three weeks yeah. but i think i'm off for two and then i'm back for two and then I'm back out to Bali for, for work again. So I'm off to Malaysia and Bali, and then I'm back again, and then I'm back out again in two weeks to Bali. Cocktail. It's a hard life, what can I say? The what, This bit is a holiday. The bit after Bali is, I'm looking for, if it doesn't go well, I will just literally walk straight out the building, grab a surfboard, and I'll be gone. I'll never return. <laughs> it's literally, <laughs> I will never return. I will send a, I will send a I love you just message on Twitter, your, and I'll say... Goodbye, Star Citizen community. The waves have caught me. I will be. I will see you when the game is released, and that'll be it. Um, so yeah, so I will. So we won't be doing anything on the sign in for um, a couple of weeks, but doesn't mean that we might not do things on YouTube, and doesn't mean we might not do some other cool things. So, like I said, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitch. Uh, we've got some good. We have some plans we can finally get some time to do some cool shit um we've got some other things coming um on youtube very soon so watch the youtube channel because there's gonna be some interesting things coming on mm -hmm. cool okay thank you so much everyone i'm gonna go to the uh, ending stream thingy now and then we'll host somebody um so take care have a great one and if i don't see you inside the verse or in the next couple of weeks i'll see you whenever thanks take for care. Up, guys. thanks everyone Cheers. Bye -bye. Ta -ta.